of you listening to this, the thought of you on the other side of the line, I can't hang up. I don't want this to end. Not again. I don't know if you miss me too, but I hope you do. never go back to what we were, what we, what I became so used to, what I thought would be forever. Just wish he knew. Just wish he knew.
Ha ha, I have money. It's America resub before the stream even started. Six months, let's go. Ha ha. I wish I could say the same. Oh, and three subscribe for a month. Two months, let's go. Hype train started. the editor from Cat of America. I have such a wonderful chat. You guys are awesome. Welcome to a random video. How is everybody doing out there today? We are still in the off season, but we have a new race manager. We have pit stops. We have towing. It's awesome. We're going to run some ovals. We're on the motorsports playground to do it. And you guys couldn't even wait so many subs before the stream. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who do we have here in chat? We have oh, contrary to popular belief. We have Onan first, KG Wag not first, Bob the Editor still not first, Cats of America not fourth, <laughs> but third, KG Wag is here. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scroll. Carmen San Diego is present, but it's not Christmas or my birthday. But I thank you for the presents. <laughs> I just, I crack myself up sometime. Prime Buddha! Hey, Prime Buddha! You okay? I sound weak. I, yeah, well, you know, it's just, just doing, doing the best I can, you know? Uh, scrolling, scrolling. KG Wag is here. Sunday Driver. Racing hour tonight. We are racing tonight. Uh, scrolling. Logic Taco is here. So glad you decided to wake up early today. Let's go, Logic Taco. Sunday Driver is 69th. <laughs> and let's see who we have on the server already. It's Onan, Cat of America, Sunday Driver, already on the server. Why? Why? We're, it's, it's, we're doing all wonderful things tonight. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I spent a lot. L listen, first of all, bad news. I have no code red. 
So do I sound a little weak tonight? Probably. I have no caffeine in my system. I am so very tired. So, so very tired. But we have finished, well, at least version one of the pitting and uh, what do you call it? Uh, towing, that's it. I, I know what I just did. I, I, I know what code I've written. <laughs> I have an idea what we ran today. Let's see, drink water. I will drink water because it's the only thing I got, but I've added lemon to my water, so I, it's at least tasty. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cat of America. Uh, you have a stash of Powerade here. I, I need to go shopping, except I got horrible mail today. Well, today, it, it could have been a month ago. It's been a while since I've been to my mailbox, but <laughs> uh, it turns out one of my, one of my, uh, keeping things as they always been, testing Thursday, exactly. But one of my, uh, uh, property taxes has not been being paid by my mortgage. I now owe like a thousand dollars. That's due like immediately. Holy cow. Who can just come up with a thousand dollars? That's messed up. I'm going to have words, angry words with my mortgage company. Anyway, let's get into a good place. We're going to race. We're on the track. I'm in my car. And it's not been destroyed. That's a surprise. Get this man some hits. There you go. Thanks, Bob, the editor. Please don't go into debt. We need you. Yeah, well, this is, it's, it's going to be a pretty, it's, yeah, it's, the fact that I don't know how long it's been going on either. The the, the last bill was $1,000. I don't know how much more. I, I haven't looked into it yet. But, uh, and I, why did it just in a email me? Why snail mail? I get my mail like once every three months. Anyway. Ah, uh, let's get into the cars we're going to be running today. So I looked, and I'm going to have to... Is Soki here? Soki, are you here in chat? And for some reason, by the way, uh, none of the commands are going to be working except Bang Random Minds because for some reason, Streamlabs is not connecting to the stream, and I don't know why. It has permissions. It has my account information. I don't know why it's not, so sorry about that, everybody. So mods, when people type in Bang Join, Bang Discord, Bang Rules, uh, just... Tell them what you know, if you could. Haven't heard from Soki all day. I guess he's not here. Yeah, it's the uh, the RM1 cars, uh, for some reason, are not compatible with the new version of, uh, of BeamNG. So I'm not quite sure what happened. Gotta eat. You'll be mod in a little bit. All right, KG Wag. So. How was the Formula Ibishu mod? Uh, I don't think I've looked at that yet. Sorry. I think did, you sent me that. I haven't had a chance to look at it. I've been just so stressing on getting this, uh, this towing and, and pit stops out. But what, what are we getting? Well, so RM, RM three cars are going to be what's first. We're going to get in the Legrand. Cats of America, wait one minute. Minute, you have an idea? Let me just preemptively grab the Discord link. Oh, good idea, Cats of America. Thank you. I don't know why Streamlabs is not working today. It didn't look like it worked last week either, and I couldn't figure out before the stream how to fix it. Oh, cool, Bob the Editor. Yeah, well, West Coast comes up a lot. I'm sure we'll get it again fairly soon. It is a popular map, to be sure. <clears throat> uh, let's see, nothing major, like 12 seconds. Hey, 12 seconds is 12 seconds, right? All right, so the first track, and I do have pits set up on it. Which, by the way, I don't have uh, setting up the pits in the on-screen UI, so I have to do it all manually. Boy, that's a pain in the neck. 
<laughs> it took it took like an hour, two hours to set up two tracks. It, uh, I can't. I gotta get it into uh, the UI. These are the rules of humanity. Let's see, Motorsports Playground, here we are. Big track infield oval. So now that we're spawned here, if you look yourselves over to the left, you will see, now in this track, I had the leader, whoever is on the pole, uh, their pit is in the back. The next track, the leader's pit is in the front. We'll see which one's better and that's what I'll make the default. But anyway, you'll see I have the first uh, pit highlighted. That is my pit area. All of the pits are set up, um, but you only see your own. So you guys will see different pits set up. You have the second or third. But see, there you go. It, it all goes in order. I don't know that the order I should automatically sign them. I don't know if it's better if pole is at the back of it or pole is at the front. We'll see. I think it's, it's at the front. I don't know. Uh, but... I'll put us into race mode and you can see, so we'll go into race mode here. We are going to do 20 laps on this track when we get to the, I didn't have my car started. I still can't uh, see. So I reset from, I didn't, I, <laughs> I reset because they hit me and I, I had forgotten that I had that on, but it calculates how long it would take to go around the track. I have the speed of it configurable. Right now it's set at 70 kilometers an hour, which is about 42 miles an hour for towing. So you have to wait for that period of time. <clears throat> yeah, at least we know it works. So it puts you down about a lap. I can adjust that. If it seems like it's too long, I could shorten it, but I wanna make sure it's at least as long as one lap is, right? You, would, you wouldn't want you to be able to cheat. So yeah, if you're gonna crash, crash into the pits and I'll show you how that works. Now I don't have a pit, uh, pit speed limiter. I'll just say that pit speed limit is going to be 50 miles an hour. So uh, just be on your honor for doing a good pit speed. But you saw how long I waited for that uh, uh, pit stop for the wreck. Now, if we go around and we get back towards the other side, I'll reset here and you see that it's only 15 seconds now that we have to wait because I was that close. Now, additionally, and you'll see that the, the, the laps still can count if, you're, if your uh, pit box is past the start finish line, it detects that and it will uh, it increment you a lap when you are released from your pits. Let's see, pit speed 50. I was going to set this to 50. Uh, now I crash myself. I uh, And now I have to wait again. That was stupid. <laughs> Not what I intended to do. Honestly, this is really cool. Well, thank you, Logic Taco. And like I said, I can adjust that speed. So I currently have it set for 70 kilometers an hour, which is about 42 miles an hour. Come on, come on towing. And you can't cheat this like you can try to on the start. Resetting just puts you back here. It just doesn't reset the towing time. Yesterday we had tornadoes, but nothing today. Well, I'm glad there's nothing today. Eventually, the pit speed will be limited. I just didn't have time to code it. So if you damage yourself, like I'll damage myself a little bit here, but I can still drive. It's just painful now, right? So if you can get around and make it to the pits and you get to your pit box, you can reset there in your pit box and it will let you go right away. No towing if you reset in the pits. Now, don't reset when you're in the pit lane uh, because that will, uh, there's a glitch there. But make sure you're in your pit box. And then you can reset. 
If you suddenly lag out, y'all know you was nuked by a stealth plane? No, let's hope not. Wonder if a plane going overhead messed you up sometimes? Let's hope not. Now you have to reset in pit lane? Well, on this pit lane, it won't be too horrible of a thing. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what happens. Since we're at the front of the pit lane... What a way to go. You never want to go. But now let's get around and I'll show you there is a glitch. So don't make sure you're in your pit box. So if you come in and, and the navigation doesn't work when you're so if you come in and you go past your pit box, if you reset, it will take you back to uh, pit lane. But since you weren't in your pit box, it's going well and this is okay because if you're not if you weren't in your pit box it's gonna it's gonna make you have to tow because now it's basically you had to go around the whole track right uh but if uh once this is over and i reset again on pit lane it just sends me back to my pit box so you can reset again for free on on pit lane but if on the second track uh, our pit boxes will be on the other side of the start finish line. And if you reset outside your pit box, you'll be teleported there. And it will skip uh, the, uh, it will not skip. It will, you still have not gone through uh, pit lane. So you'll, ha you'll have to go backwards on the track, I guess. So if I'm here, and now I reset back to that. Oh, actually, it's supposed to, when it does that, it's supposed to not have to do towing. Okay, something changed from the bug that I knew about. Okay, so if this is just doing this, then it's fine. Oh, that's horrible. See, Logic Talker, now you have to reset. Yeah, horrid, terrible, awful, awful 50 seconds. Yeah, because it's 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 a, it's an extended penalty for resetting again in, t uh, in pit lane. It, it, it's not supposed to act like that. But if you're if you're in your pit box and you reset, it's a free reset. You see that? It's only if you're outside pit lane that it costs you. So that's the first track will run today you quoted someone i might be familiar with what a way to go as a scotsman once said i don't want to go oh yes the doctor of course i remember that i remember that scene so anyway we'll cancel we'll cancel the race here And I'll get into the next car we're going to run today. <clears throat> and we're going to run this on the Super Speedway. I wanted to run an RM1 car, but like I said, they're not working, unfortunately. But we're going to go ahead and get into the K-Series RM2 car. <clears throat> so let me spawn this one out to everybody. It is only 52 degrees outside, but it's 80 degrees at my office. My CPU is acting as a space heater. Gotta love it. So this track, this one took a while to set up. There were 42 pit boxes I had to set up. 42! It's crazy. It's 69 outside your house? Nice. It is. <clears throat> yeah, I think there, there's a... Uh, there, there's uh, some kind of advanced cooling system uh, mod that we use for the RM1 cars, and I think that got broken, which then in turn broke the RM1 cars. All right, here we go, super speedway. If there are more people than pit boxes, well, yeah, that that's currently uh, an issue that would cause a problem, but uh, there's so many pit boxes, I doubt it will be a problem. So I'll put us in the race mode here. Now, this one, conversely, you can see I'm in pit box four, but these ones start at the back or start at the front there. 
All right, let's go, Carmen. 200K, let's go. You think you may be out right now? You're frozen in free cam without a car? Well, we can we can potentially fix that. Here, let me free up the menu. And let me get back to my car. And where is... Who said that? Onan. Well, Onan, you're not on the server. Uh, so it looks like you got kicked out of the server. So try rejoining. My car's not started. Take the ESC off while I'm going slow. So now this one resetting really is pretty painful because the track is fairly long. Oh, and I've been disconnected from the server. What just happened? We all got disconnected from the server. What just happened to the server? Oh, my connection failed to the server. No bus stop here, not on this one. Yep. Yep, server borked. All right, I got to restart the server. Wonderful. You got to love it. So cat, when we do when we have uh when we have bingo going, it's got to be server dies. <laughs> server dies has to be one of them. <coughs> I'm getting back in. Just give me a second, guys. Got to reload up the server. Don't know why that happened. Yeah, that one is a staple. Yes, because of course we start off scuffed, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Did I ever hear the term foreshadowing? I know, right? Uh, no, I, I want recent. Not I'm not connecting to my local server. And Randy watches Onan crash. It'll be uh, practically be a free space. Oh, no. <clears throat> it's been added. Got one and a half lines filled. All right, let's go. Yeah, and just filling the one set of boxes will be enough to have a pretty infinite number of uh, scrambled possibilities. And that website I sent you would, would be able to do the scrambles. So the idea that I have for uh, bingo is if s what you have to do is uh, each time you get a bingo term, you would have to clip that part of the stream so that we, if you end up getting bingo, we can verify that all the things actually happened. It will be cool. So it looks like the server's back up. Everybody go ahead and jump back in. Cat of America just sent me a preview. It's random gets mid-pack, audio stutter, no game audio, safe mode, <coughs> no nude racing, <laughs> stream scuffs, and server dies. There it goes. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, what, 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 what? Ah, I forgot what I was going to do. Where was I? What am I doing? Why am I here? Oh, yes. So, are my, is my game audio working? Okay, game audio is working. Okay, good to know that. And, all right, so we're, yes, let's get back into the RM two cars span configurations grab the K series there's no nude races <laughs> yeah def definitely subscribe to my only fans <laughs> do not I do not have an only fans thank you you very much <clears throat> all right we'll push all the cars out to everybody gatsby definitely know how your fps is doing today i have made some changes D definitely never gonna do an only fans only only radiator fans there you go <laughs> only car fans gatsby's under the track 
That's okay, we'll get there. Never say never. I, I'm pretty confident. That's true. The less apt one makes declared the less one makes declarative statements, the less apt one is to look foolish in retrospect. Nobody will get that movie reference. Nobody. Uh, let's see, where are we? Where are we? Still more prompts needed for the card. If anyone has any suggestions, just DM to Cat on Discord. That is a good idea. The F7 does not work. Well, it, yeah, it's only... So it should work now. Sorry about that, Gatsby. Um, doo -doo -doo, Where are we? Where are we? I still haven't fixed that. That's coming up. Because that involves a bunch of changes. Uh, where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Why am I here? Super Speedway. There it is. Randy's not here, man. Scintilla is a very good at Super Speedway. Well, we could potentially do that. That is true. The Scintilla is good. But it's a Scintilla. Well, the, the GT3 would be good, maybe. Hey, Buley, how you doing? We have pit stops, Buley. It's going to be awesome. You have an idea on how to do bingos? What is your idea, Carmen San Diego? So let me start this race again. Why is this scintilla catching strays? I don't understand. Keep getting spawned nowhere near the starting. That happens every once in a while. I don't know why. I still have to put in the the reset and then pause. So I'll have to that that just reminded me to do that. Let's see. Now we're on the back stretch. So I'm curious. I'm running with the pack. Oh, the, the, the arrow mod is definitely working. So I'm going to do a reset here. Oh, and I ended up crashing them on the reset. That's not the way that's supposed to happen. But now I have a two minute towing. Well, we could call them out, but if we don't call them out, then that just makes it more skillful for people to have to pay attention. So we'll see. We, we could do it either way. So there they are passing me. I still have a minute 35. No, that, that wasn't the group. Oh, everybody. Guys, I was using you as a bellwether to see if, uh, see if the towing was too long. Uh, if you reset, if you don't reset, you can just keep on going and get to pit lane, then you don't have to wait. And if you can drive faster than 45 miles or 40 miles, 42 or so miles an hour, then it's worth it. So long to wait, though. I do believe, hey, Cedar Rapids Wheelies, I do believe it is going to make the uh, us all drive a little bit better. I only crashed everybody there because I was I was purposely testing the towing. Sunday driver was already able to take off. They were there further. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. You're going to miss tonight. You had a migraine the last two days. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, Cedar Rapids. Stock pigeon rusty bar went won't apply. Don't don't. Oh, see now I was pushed out of the pits and then I reset and then I have to wait again. Okay, that that's that sucks. Well, you get the idea. I guess wait for two minutes. And I can't short circuit. Wait a minute. What was that thing? So, Jesso10 just followed. Thank you for following, Jesso. So, you get the idea. I'm not going to sit here and wait for three minutes. Let me cancel that race. 
Hey, and tech arsenal tech 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 azenimili. Thanks, thanks, thanks for following. Nailed it. Yes, I am perfect. Oh, I, 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 it's been hard enough getting everything in place, uh, regard, you know, and, as opposed to uh, all the uh, doing extra stuff so I can get around the rules. Um, let's see, lots of people watching stream today. Are there? Yes, there are. Well, yeah, we have 10 people at the beginning. We are full. Well, I will ask. So, uh, Carmen San Diego, where is Carmen San Diego? Are they still falling below the track? No, they are here. How are your frames doing? Mine are at uh, 40 or so, 40, 50. So my average frames. You're... Oh, I'm sorry that's happening to you, cat. See, did Carmen respond? About 16? All right, we are we are we are definitely capping it at 7. Um and I will put in fact, I'm going to So guys, I'm going to bring the server down. I'm going to put a mod back in that I had taken off, wondering if it really made a difference. And it looks like it is. So everybody get out of the server. I'm going to take the server down and then move that one mod back uh, and then bring the server back up again so people can have better FPS. I took the no internal collisions mod out thinking it wasn't doing anything anymore, uh, but apparently it is. I did because the uh, the NASCAR cars I want to drive needs your car to collide with itself for the um, for the uh, airfoils on the top of the car to work. So Waterboy and Casey, so I'm gonna get out now. I'm gonna bring the server down, and then let's see. So let's go back here. Let's see where is that mod. Let's see. Du -du 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 -du. So it should be. So LS. Oh, where is it? Where'd it go? Wait a minute. Where is the mod? Don't tell me. I, I know I moved it. Uh, wait a second. Hold one second, please. Um, well, there, so I see it. So I did just move it. So it's supposed to be, oh, I put it under base. Okay. Forgot where I put it. It's not where I intended to put it. Let's see, uh, where is it? Uh, base resources slash client. There it is. Yes, the chat commands are broken. For some reason, Streamlabs is not uh, connecting to Twitch right now. I don't know why it's not connecting to anything. I don't know why. All right, so I have the mod back in place. Let me bring the server back up. Scuff stream as usual. Gotta love it. All right. Everybody go ahead and go ahead and hop back in. 
No, I, I finished it. It's done. It's working. <clears throat> Go ahead and reconnect. Two and a half hour long movies. Well, the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Doom 2 is out. Or Doom, not Doom. Uh, Dune 2 is out. Logic Taco, don't tell them to crash everybody out. Yes, well, we're gonna we're gonna get back in. We're gonna see what the FPS is. We're gonna limit it to either seven or eight people tonight. <clears throat> Dune, D U N E, Dune two. So let me get back into the car. Yes, Doom 2 came out about, uh, not 30 years ago, but a long time. Well, it could have been 30 years ago. It's a long time ago. Let's see. RM2. What were we in? Can I try pinning the Discord link? I certainly can. Yes, that is definitely still part of the rules, for sure. How old was I when Do Doom 2 came out? Um, oh, God, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so if you crash somebody out and they reset, which takes them back to the pits, you must reset with them. So remember that. Well, hopefully I'll get the uh, thing fixed. I'm, I'm trying to find... Hold on a second. I'm trying to pin the message. So now there's the message. There's the pin. And I will pin it for... Uh, let's see. Uh, 420 minutes. <laughs> That'll work. Sunday Driver has a nice ball? You can't say it that way. You can't say it like that. I didn't even say it like that. Say it like that right. Balls. Carmen, are you on your way back in? Let me spawn this car back out to everybody. We'll see what the frame rates are with them. Or Sunday driver. In oh, I meant to look at Sunday. Well, I was just about to say something very, very bad. <laughs> that would have been out of context. But I, I, I spawned the car out to everybody by, yeah, without thinking about it. I keep doing that. Why do I do that? Random Minds. Well, if the stream dies again, you can send them while you... Yeah, if the stream dies again while we're getting back in. Uh, yeah, I... Look, yeah, I, <laughs> that that is kind of what I was gonna say. So Gatsby's back in. I'll get them a vehicle. So let's see where my frames are now. Um, my frames are they were forty and now they're sixty. So yeah, the the mod still works for sure. Twenty more FPS. <clears throat> so hopefully Gatsby should be well above uh, 30. So let's go back to that track. Super Speedway, Super Speedway. And then we'll do the Banger Race, and then we'll do the Cannonball, as usual. You're right around the sweet spot? All right. Then we will keep it at seven people tonight. The limit is seven people. So, we, uh, well, actually, I don't know why I spun this over here. It looks like we're going to run the races now because it is 937. So let's just get this thing started. So I'm going to I'm going to start this qualifying just so I can cancel it. We'll go back to the other car. We'll start over there. 
I'm in your ear, so you'll be watching a movie. I'm glad I'm that entertaining. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I can neither confirm nor deny any age-related questions. So this isn't the first car we'll run. Let's get, now that all the screwing around is over, let's get back into the first actual car, which is an RM3 car. And it is the Legrand. <coughs> I'll send this out to everybody. Savetta Bolide or Savetta Scintilla? Nope. I got to figure it out today. Got to figure it out. Were you not potentially like 20-ish in the mid-90s? I can neither confirm nor deny. I, I may have made references to things, but I shall not confirm nor deny any age-related things. All right. I will certainly do that, KG Wag. Thank you very much. Isn't this interesting to watch? Don't you want to watch races? Anyway, all right. So let's go over to the first track, go into qualifying, and get this thing underway. Did I mention I'm ridiculously fatigued and tired? Uh, it's big. It's the big track. It's the big track. The big track infield oval. Wait, do we get a Randy birthday stream? I have never told anybody what my birthday is. Oh, I wish I had photos of that too. I really do. So we'll start qualifying here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have... Oh, we have to do rules and I don't have qualifying set up on this track right. It was a convertible. It was a ragtop. I have to edit this uh, track file. <laughs> no, and actually, no, I don't think anybody has a picture of that car now that I think about it. Cameras were not as ubiquitous on phones and such. In fact, phones weren't as ubiquitous as phones and such. Let me, I got, I, we haven't been on this track for so long that I don't have the, uh, I don't have the qualifying minutes configured. All minutes will be five. All right, there it is. It's in there now. So I will cancel qualifying. I will load us up again. <coughs> but let me read the rules first. Breaking news. Randy was in his 30s before cameras were invented. Well, n no. No. <laughs> All right, here's the rules of the races. We run clean races and clean cars. There's no tuning, no changing parts, no mods. The only changes you can and need to make is the color of your car to match your unique player color. Let me follow somebody that's actually driving while I read these. We have drivers of all skill levels. Racing incidents happen and will be penalized appropriately. Intentionally crashing into or berating of other players is not acceptable and will be met with a reprimand, a timeout, a suspension, or a ban. You may reset or rewind your car as many times as needed and you may not use node grabber. If you cause somebody to crash, you must wait for them to get in front of you. If you have been crashed, you must get restarted as quickly as possible. If the person you crashed resets, you must reset with them back to the pits. Once you have... You have 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000 seconds to get going again, or the other driver can keep going on without you. If you don't wait, you will be docked a position or points. Once I start an in-game recording at the beginning of a race, please do not change anything about your vehicle. Spawn a new one or leave the game. Stops recording. It may DNF you, and it really uh, annoys me. You have no idea. You may not make any environmental changes, including but not limited to speed, gravity, weather, and don't even think about using the world editor. I can take that rule out because that literally can't happen anymore. For the best possible ping, please stop any other programs you have running and any downloads through Steam or otherwise. A max ping is around 200 because a high ping is death to us all. 
and I will decide the outcome of any disputes. So let's just not have any. All right. There we are. And yes, Cat of America did have the emojis out there. Let's go. Uh, All right. So now let's really do this thing. Let's really do this thing. And I will say during the actual race, there will be on, on both of the serious races today, there will be a, one mandatory pit stop. It's not enforced by the game, but it's on your honor. But you do have to go to the pits at least once during the race. At least once you have to go into your pit box. So don't make it the last lap. Because your pit box could be after at least once. Yes. You have to pit at least once. So you can go in there and pit on your own if you don't crash. But you have to go to the pits once. Uh, that takes the sting out of crashing just a little bit. Where is it? Big track infield oval. There it is. So you can reset as much as you want in qualifying for obvious reasons. So if you put someone and have to reset along with them, does that count? Yes, that counts. It's a simulation game and your car's not broken, right? So, I mean, so yeah, if, if you crash and you pit because of that crash, whether you do it on your own or whether you take the towing, that counts. But if you don't crash, you still must pit at least once. Don't do it on the last lap because you won't actually get to your pits and then you'll DNF. Drafting is on and will make a difference for certain in this race. Practice pitting during qualifying so that you know. That's insane, KG Wag. Could act like we need a tire change. Yes, that's exactly it. You are required to do at least one tire change. I like it. Who said that? Cat said that? Good idea, Cat. So there's the pit box. Come in. There's my pit. We come in here. We reset. And then we go. Remember your 50 mile an hour pit speed limit. Try not to go, try not to drive through the pits. You will not be, I can speed up faster than that. You will not be ghosted like an eye racing. You shall ensure that your pit maneuver is adequately practiced. No pitting somebody. That's messed up. And I am also streaming on YouTube, so if you want to watch on YouTube, if you want to watch the replays, YouTube is a great place to do it as well. Onan with a very good time. Tenth of a second faster than me. Boy, this is certainly better than real qualifying IRL because uh, you only get like two laps. Gets kind of long. There's Confused Nugget over there on YouTube. 
Well, the more people we have watching over there, the more it'll push the uh, push out in the algorithm. And the more views we get, also the more it'll push out in the algorithm, so... Help me out on YouTube over there. It would be much appreciated. I started way too late. S publishing over there. At least streaming over there. That's actually not entirely true. I actually started streaming over on YouTube, gave up on it, came over to Twitch. Grew much faster initially over here on Twitch. To be able to have members and things like that equivalent to the affiliate program on Twitch, instead of 50, uh, followers which are subscribers over on youtube you need 500 so a much bigger nut to crack i'm just hoping to burn enough fuel that i can actually make up that one tenth of a second If I was on a wheel, I wouldn't be so jittery with my steering. Well, you go on the high side. You, you, in the first corner, you, or in the, at the beginning of the corner, you dump it down to the center. And then you let it work its way back out to the wall. That reduces friction and increases your speed and straightens out the track all at the same time. It is a definitely a different discipline. Say I'm doing that, I'm at the wall. Here I'll go ahead and I'll dive down to the center. And then coming out of the corners, I'll let it ride back to the wall. You know to do that, you still have last. You don't have last. Actually. Gatsby, I don't see you on the race manager at all. And your game crashed. Oh no. Well, now you definitely have last. That sucks. Get your butt back in here. Oh, qualifying. That ended qualifying. I'm currently qualified in second. So what you're supposed to do is not stop on the track, so I won't. So Carmen, if you want to send me your log file. So your bmng.log, and if you've already started bmng, it'll be your bmng2.log. So I'll stop here. So I will accept that qualifying into the books. <coughs> Not code, actually the name it gave you. Yeah, no, I got what you meant. Let me just look really quickly in the, oh, what, what is this? Oh, that's not me. Okay. What is this? So that's not my code. I don't know what this error was. Huh. I'll have to look at that later. We'll just wait for Carmen to get back in. Just go ahead and keep practicing if you like until Carmen gets in and then we will kick off the race. They said they were in last anyway, so it doesn't really affect the qualifying. They got the Wii Woos on. Oh no. It's going to be a long race, guys. It's going to be about an eight minute or so race. Probably longer. Eight to ten minute race. Just waiting for Gatsby to get back in. I see them joining.
How can you spawn yourself? Uh, are you, are you Cassium? Is that you, uh, Tech? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call you Tech? The Cassium, that's you? Well, the first thing I need to do, sorry I didn't see this earlier, I have to allow you vehicles. Now you have the ability to get vehicles. I will push the vehicle out to you. Uh, and spawn tonight. So Cassium, th this is a bug with uh, multiplayer right now well, with on my server. So get out and come back. Now that I've given you permissions, uh, get out and come back in. For some reason, uh, there's a bug the first time you're in. Uh, it doesn't always, sometimes it does, but it doesn't always allow me to uh, let you spawn vehicles. So hopefully, once you get back in, you will be able to spawn vehicles. So Gatsby's on their way in. Now Cassium's on their way back in. Uh, I have the game lo uh, locking a bunch of things out currently because I push cars out to you. But during the banger race, for example, you'll be able to pick your own car. I'll spawn the car out to you, and since you haven't been here before, what I'll ask you to do is I'll give you the car, then you go ahead and uh, change the colors. I'll open up the menus. You can change the colors using the standard color change. Don't change anything else about the car. And then once you've changed your colors, make them unique colors, then click on your name. I'll click on mine to show you. Then click Save Colors. Click on your name, then click Save Colors. All left clicks. And then once that comes back, then click Load Colors. I'll be able to see it. And so will everybody else. I'll know that you're ready. And every time I push a car out to you, it will get those colors. So here's the car. And I'll get Gatsby the car as well. I see Gatsby. Gatsby is in. Let's go. So I'll push the vehicle out to Gatsby. I will then open the menu up for everybody. <clears throat> so you should be able to get to the menu now. So go ahead, Castium. Go ahead and change the color of your car. Make it a unique set of colors. Gatsby, just go ahead and make sure you've loaded your... I, I'm sure it has adapted your colors. Yep, they've gotten their colors. And Waterboy has chosen a deeper orange. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, and 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 a uh, hot pink. Nice. What are these YouTube playlists that you hate the most random thing ever? I, I don't... What... So, playlists that I have that just have stupid random names, I haven't been able to delete them all. <clears throat> that That's why I, I just would slam my fingers down on the keyboard to make a random playlist so that I could get a whole mess of videos set that I could then download to watch offline. That's all. I, I, I guess I have not made all of them either, not public or deleted those. So there may still be some of them out there. They're just old stuff I've watched. So, Cassium, once you have uh, saved your colors, then go ahead. Now, now I'm now I'm scared about what's in there. Actually, I don't watch anything sus, so whatever's in there. Yet, there's probably. <laughs> They're, they're not all pile. I, I've, I'm just deleting all of them. There's I just have so many that I just haven't. I, I sit there and I delete for a while because you can't batch delete them. So Cassium, I, I, I still haven't seen. Have you clicked on load? So click on your name and click load colors so I can see the, the colors you've chosen. Knocked my mirrors off. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see Cassium's colors. Here it comes. Here it comes. There they are. All right. All right. We're all ready now. <clears throat> what?
was I trying to do video editing in Blender? Um, I was interested in it. I didn't, I didn't do it. Uh, I was just interested in it, so I may have watched a bunch of videos about that. Yeah, uh, an insight. Get in there. Look at everything I've watched in the past until I have time to get out there and delete all those. I mean, they're just they're pointless playlists. I heard about doing actual video editing in Blender, so I was interested in doing it. So I think I watched a bunch of videos on it and then decided that that wasn't the thing to do. Uh, all right, big track infield oval. Let's actually get this race going here, guys, huh? So I think we're all here. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take a look at where your pit stop is. 20 laps. Remember all the rules. Get back in your spot, Onan. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> you can, you, it, it shows as green glowing box. You can't miss it. You literally can't miss it. I shouldn't have upshifted the fifth there yet. Uh, I hear some calamity behind me. Remember, one one uh, pit stop is required. I could miss it, to be honest with you. I could. I have a feeling I'll have to reset because of uh, crashing, but... Trying to get the slip on Onan. Onan keeps going to the bottom, which is messing up my line. So I'm just going to stay along the top. Some people had to do a reset there. So like I said, if you had to do a reset because of a crash and you towed, then that is your... No, 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 why? And at the beginning of the track, why would you do that, Gatsby? Why? Just why? At On the front stretch, no less. On the front stretch. Pain. That was the worst possible place to do that. Ah. Oh. The pain, the pain, so much pain. <clears throat> let me out, let me out. I was in second. Now I'm down to fifth and dropping like a rock fast. Two, one, zero, let's go. Pit lead, pit lane speed limit is 50 miles an hour. Gatsby and I are back out on the tracks. Gatsby's pit was ahead of me. I definitely know where my pit box is now. That is true. Couldn't find my way around. Gatsby had to let up. What are you doing, Waterboy? What are you doing? Oh, somebody left. I can't reach over to get the... Let's see if I can reach over to get the replay started. There it goes. Side by side racing, let's go. I missed a checkpoint. Well, that sucks. I didn't see that. I've got them now. I'm in fourth. Oh, did we do the prediction? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. I get into Gatsby this time.
you crashed and it, it you crashed and you got booted from the server oh no that sucks well wait till after this race and then rejoin you can join us for the next race you did the prediction you're such a good mod you good set of mods who, who said that kg wag said it i don't know if cat said, did it or kg wag did it but thank you I was so excited with the new features that I totally forgot about that. Gatsby's up in the wall. Did you crash out? I thought we just rubbed uh, bumpers. Now you're stopping with, now you're multiple laps down. I thought we just rubbed sides of the car but now now you've stopped Gatsby is Gatsby in the pits again Gatsby's in the pits I will come into the pits I will come into the pits as a penalty I will even do it on the back stretch with towing I'll take the 30 second penalty. It's an even 50 50 split with points. Nice. Cassium, way up there. 17 laps already. Oh, I'm not going to have a chance to catch up. But I'm taking my penalty. I didn't realize Gatsby was crashed out. That's no excuse. Figured resetting on the back stretch 30 second penalty would be a. I have been given a stop and go penalty. A stop and wait and go penalty. Was only fair. The race will end when the leader crosses the finish line. That will trigger the last lap for everybody. So my chance of making that time up, not great, not great. Sorry about that, Gatsby. I, I I really did just think that we just uh, did a little rub and racing. I didn't realize that it crashed you out, so I do apologize. It's no excuse. But I have served my penalty. I hope I am absolved. And there it is, the last lap of the race. And I finish fourth. I still haven't fixed the bug where it doesn't show... That's right. Never give up. Never surrender. So it may not show the uh, checkered flags for everybody. That is only a graphical glitch. It should still allow everybody to come around and finish. Ah. Can't do polls or predictions on your phone. Can only do it on PC. Yeah, I've never tried to do it on the phone, so I'm not sure. <clears throat> but that's looks like that's the way that's going to end with Mr. Awesome in first. Cassium last minute lead change there. Cassium in second. Sunday Driver in third. Random Minds in fourth. Waterboy in fifth. Gatsby in sixth. A seven minute race. I thought it was going to be much longer than that. Much longer than that. All right, so let's go ahead and put those points into the books. The person who got kicked out, go I, I don't remember who it was, but go ahead and join back in now. I'm going to show the replay. Hopefully, you'll be able to get in by the time we're done the replay.
Spectate Cats of America? I will do that. I will. Well, I was banking on the... Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, do remember, I haven't seen people use the emotes recently. Remember, we do have emotes. That was the second half. I have to go back to the first half. That was the second half. So here's the beginning. Let's pause it there. Zoom out on everybody. As you do. Or at least as I do. There they are. And it's all saying the names all in my ear. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Envix, how you doing? I'm just waiting for that to finish before. There it is. Oh, the, the original ones before I edited them. Yes. All right, here we go. Off the start, we'll get the UI out. I will quickly lose track of who's in first. What's on second? I don't know who's on third. But it's random in front right now, and it looks like it's Onan taking the lead. Then Waterboy, Mr. Awesome, Gatsby, <clears throat> Sunday Driver, and then Cassium on lap one. And that is how lap one finishes up. Nobody crashes lap one. Waterboy into the wall. <clears throat> Coming down across the track. Almost gets into Gatsby. Gatsby's able to miss it. It's still Onan in first. Then Random in second. Mr. Awesome in third. Waterboy losing speed. Looks like Waterboy and Gatsby and Sunday Driver get into a wreck. They will, oh, and that was on the front stretch. They will have a very long time to wait, but it's still gonna be Owen and then Random and then Mr. Awesome in the lead. There they are in the pits. <clears throat> Coming up, oh, actually no, Gatsby and Sunday Driver, I just didn't see their cars. But we are now lapping Gatsby. Onan made the pass. This is where I am unsuccessful at it. Uh, and I'm supposed to be... Uh, and that is where Gatsby and I first get together. Let's get over to Cat of America. Is Cat of America... Cat, you're not on the server. You got me again. Successful troll. Spectate Onan. We basically... We were spectating you during the end of the first half. Let's get... See where Onan's at right now. There's Onan. A couple people back there in the pits. I did only set up one side of the pits because there's plenty of pits for that. So it looks like me and Gatsby are currently in the pits for that wreck on the front stretch. <coughs> Onan catching up to Sunday Driver. They are currently in the lead. Nobody right behind him. Next closest person is Cassium, it looks like. Unless I'm back there. Nope, it, it is Cassium. Onan trying to put them a lap down. Put Trying to put Sunday Driver a lap down. Can't find their way around. Coming up to more lap traffic. Tries to go on the low side. There's Waterboy and Gatsby. Ah, and there is where... I think that's where Onan disconnected. <coughs> we have to get the UI back up on the screen here. And go to the second half. I was delayed in starting it because I couldn't reach over. Let's see. I think that is when Onan crashed. I thought they crashed into people, but it looks like they crashed on the server first. So now we're back with Waterboy, Water Gatsby, Random. Yeah, well, that was that was the end of Onan's time here because they're already off the server. 
So Gatsby and I get together there. See, I didn't think. No, see, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you reset so delayed. That's why I didn't see it. I had only sideswiped you. I didn't see you reset. I was already so far down the road. Sorry about that, Gatsby. <coughs> oh, all the drink waters. One, two, three, four drink waters. One, two, three stand up and stretches. I do need water. There's the four waters. Let's get the UI back off the screen. We'll do some cinematic cams while I stand up and stretch once. <clears throat> stand up and stretch twice. And stand up and stretch a third time as we go around the track. Oh, big crash back there. Let's see what happened. Let's try to get back there with somebody that was in that. Uh, Waterboy was able to see it. Let's see what happened. So Waterboy coming up on the group. Gatsby's into the wall. Sunday Driver hits Gatsby. And then Waterboy gets collected in it and all. Now Waterboy doesn't have to reset. They got collected. They didn't crash them out. But they chose to reset. <coughs> I have no idea what lap we're on or what position anybody's in at this point. Cinematic camera is not great on an oval, to be fair. So let me... One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I drank an extra water. It's fine. There's Cassium trying to catch up to me there. Gatsby coming out of the pits. <coughs> That's when I'm finding out that I killed Gatsby, and there's my reset back into the pits as the penalty. So that's 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 actually good to know. So if that happens in the future and someone who crashes somebody and they don't see that that person had to reset, just call them out on stream. If it's me, call me out by, with the bang random minds. I should put a button in that says, you crashed me. So I will drink my water. Thank you, Cats of America. Ask me almost anything. What does Code Red taste like and is it good? It is basically a cherry soda. And yes, it is awesome. I love it. I am depressed that I don't have any more of it right now. <clears throat> Name all of the ages that I am not. I am not in my I am not the first trimester. I am not the second trimester. I am not the third trimester. I am not the fourth trimester. I am I don't know how many trimesters there are. I am not one year old. I am not two years old. I am not three years old. I am not ninety. I am not 91. I am not 92. I guess that's as close as I'll get to narrowing it down. Oh no! Death and destruction right there. Let's see what that ha see what happened again. Rewind that just a bit. Confirmed. Randy is four. Sunday driver, you totally killed Cassium. <clears throat> I I'm not one, believe it or not. Didn't see that one driving. It, it is hard to see behind you when you end up crashing somebody out. I don't know that we'll be able to do that rule in uh, oval racing. Uh, there's Sunday driver into the wall. Ends up paying their own price for it. Ends up doing a reset anyway. Probably will end up waiting longer than Cassium. So it all works out in the end. I think Mr. Awesome wasn't sure where their pit box was. Oh, and that's where Oh, that and that was the end of the race right there. That's what that was. 
All right, so we will stop the replay there. Renner, hey, you had an idea. Why don't you slip a laptop through the closet door and make Randy edit videos? Because they'll just make fun of me. They're always angry at me. <laughs> Probably make for a good video. Uh, all right, so let me get the UI back up on the screen. We'll get on to the next race. You know, you wonder if anyone here that drives in interior cam uses detail oh yeah that's right the de i never i haven't checked those out why, why won't my car go to there's the internal camera oh yeah look at that the mirrors are showing the car you gotta love it good update Gonna have to make a second Twitch account called Randy the Editor. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like that. That's funny. <clears throat> All right. I did put those points into the books. All right. Yes, I did see that you can do that. You can adjust your mirrors there. I saw that. You can move them all around. Did you also see? Well, I can't do it now because you have to go into the... Into the... Uh, showroom or whatever but you can actually make uh custom liveries right in the game i don't know how you use them i made a livery but i i haven't i i don't know how to then up use them on the car later so i made it it just didn't show up anywhere you can put numbers on the side of your car the whole deal it's pretty cool actually so rm2 is what we're running next and we're running the k series Yeah, I tried it out, and uh, it's interesting. And it, it's it's given if I can figure out how you actually then use that livery, uh, I can make it so that we can have custom liveries that load on your car automatically, which would be very cool. How is that possible? It, it well, it's in it's in the showroom. You'll see it in the showroom. It's actually it's pretty neat, the, and they have a lot of different graphics. You can put the numbers on your car, the the whole thing. So I figured if everybody went in and, and made their own custom liveries uh, with their colors uh, for all the RM cars, that that'd be actually pretty cool. And then at some point, I'd be able to detect that you have that and I'd save it on the server. And then every time that car spawns up, it would apply that livery. It would be very cool. <coughs> all right. Anyway, what am I doing? Why am I here? What's happening? Do I need any luggage? You were about to say that? Yeah, it'd be very, very cool. It used to be called um, dynamic decals or something like that, but now it's a whole livery system. And I was just complaining the other day about how creating liveries in this game is a pain in the neck, and now they've made it stupidly easy, which is awesome. Cats of America is going to go in and start making liveries. All right, let's go, Cats of America. All right, let's get this second track loaded up. Uh, I just got a message I have to look at really quick. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, interesting. Okay. Not what I thought it was. Sorry for the delay. Motorsports Playground. I am pretty bad at making decisions myself. To be fair. Alrighty. This will be a... Yeah, this is not a 20 lap race. I think this is like a 5 or 6 lap race. But I'll start qualifying here. Ah! Same rules as before. We will have one mandatory pit stop in this as well. I keep getting stuck in second gear on this car. I hate that. Spend 150 bucks on mini bike parts. That's not a bad idea. That's actually a great idea. Perfect use of money, in my opinion. Mini bikes are fun. I raced mini bikes as a wee child 
without parental consent. <laughs> My father would never have allowed that. Let's go. Catching up to Cassium. Slipstream is a thing. At least on my servers. No seventh gear. Just had to double check. Gatsby's just sitting still. Why is Gatsby sitting still? Gatsby, you should be qualifying. Why are you qualifying? And by the way, Gatsby, you still haven't given me an answer on the thing. I'm down in the fifth. I can't get up. I can't catch up to Cassium to get their slipstream. I'm stuck in purgatory. Wait, servers not random servers confirmed? Yeah, it's still random mine servers. I mean, you're on the server. There, they're moving. And somebody crashing up there. How am I this much slower than everybody? I gotta, I gotta, I'm not doing the dives in the corners like I should be doing. That's my problem. That's my problem. Ghost Power Sports? No, I have not heard of that. I'll have to check it out. I am just losing time like it's nobody's business. Ah, oh, got into the wall. That's not great. I'm catching up to Cassium. I got the slip. Hit the wall a few times. That's not great. Oh, I I didn't have to move. We're in. There's there's no collisions. I could have just driven right through them. I uh, forgot. I guess it's a good practice to get into. Qualifying's almost over and I'm well down, not getting close to getting a good time here. Just made myself part of the wall for a second. I guess that's the key at the start. Don't lose your drafting partners. This will probably be the last lap of qualifying. I should have started off on the high side more. And this is my last qualifying lap. Get that speed boost. And still down in fifth. You said servers was an S at the end, not a single server. Did I? You know, well, no, we do only have one server right now. Random star, and you got three tenths of a second. Let's see. 
That was Mr. Awesome. Oh, yeah, look at that up at the top. 58, 475, 58, 727, 58, 779, 58, 843. And then me back there with 59. Sunday Driver with 59. Gatsby at a minute, too. What happened to Gatsby? Gatsby's still coming around, though. <clears throat> now, these pits are lined up the other way around. So while Gats... Oh, no. Gatsby's in now. All right. So I will accept that qualif... Well, before I accept that qualifying into the books... You can see that the pits... Oh, it... It already despawned it all. Never mind. Yeah, the pits are at the other end of the pit box. <clears throat> well, I think Bob, the editor up there, Mr. Awesome, said the secret. You have to, in qualifying, you really got to stay with the other people so you get their draft. Without the draft, yeah, probably a minute is about is all is all you're going to be able to do. I'm pretty sure when I was testing this, I was over a minute by myself. So that makes sense. I do want to be able to turn drafting off during qualifying. Uh, other games don't, but uh, I want to, but I just, I, I'd have to incorporate drafting into my own mod to be able to do that. And that's lower on the list. So let, did I accept, hopefully I accepted that qualifying. Did I hit accept or did I hit cancel? I hope I hit accept. Hopefully I'll show up in fifth place. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention, chat. All right, here we go. Let's bring this thing up and do a race. Motorsports Playground Super Speedway. Drafting partners are being figured out. Oh, what? Uh, it seems that way. I did the worst at it, but yes. So I'll spawn the track up again. That was a disaster of a uh, grid. Everybody go ahead and reset your cars so I can get you into the grid. It may not do it right, but we'll find out in a second. And I think we all made it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I am in fifth, so I must have saved it. Everybody take a look at where your pit box is. It's all the way down at the end. So I'm just going to go over there real quick to show you on screen. So that's where my fifth pit box is. I have to speed this up. So there's, I'm in fifth. So one, two, three, four, five. Your pit box will be in corresponding sides. It's on the other side, so we'll see how this compares. You are required to do one pit stop during this race as well. And there is only a six laps. Make sure you do it before the six lap. You can do it on if it if you do it in a, if you crash, that is valid. Remember pit speed, and it's a long pit. It is a very long pit. Now, I, and I'll, I'll point this out. So that's the end of the pit right there you don't have to keep it all the way through the rest you can start speeding up but that's the end of the pit and that line is the beginning of the pit all right so everybody has that in mind all right here we go good luck everybody let me start my car people spinning out of control already and i miss a shift Trying not to get away. It looks like two people are getting there very early. Pit stops in on the front stretch, which really sucks. You know, let, let's, let's restart it because you guys didn't get a clean restart. And I don't want your races to be over that quick. So I'm going to stop this. We'll, we'll restart it. We'll restart it. Let's let's get a clean start out of the thing. It's no fun when it ends like that. Everybody just be a little bit... Well, the people who crashed. Uh, 
You thought if I was closer? No, because yeah, you have to go. All, it goes. So the way the time works out is I calculate how far you have to go. So uh, it has to take you all the way around the track uh, from where your car is. It has to take you all the way around the track. So I calculate from where your car is for the remainder of that lap until it gets to the pits. So, yeah. So crashing on the front stretch bad crashing on the back stretch better uh, crashing just before the pits best <laughs> but if you pass the pits <laughs> uh, then it will have to take you more than once around the track you were just running the lap with the messed up car yeah I mean that's 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 the way you should do it uh, if you can drive it don't reset definitely because there is no getting out of it well, let's let's load this up again so everybody come <laughs> that's messed up mr awesome that is messed up all right one two three four five six seven we are all here let's try this one more time let's go My game audio is awfully low. Somebody didn't get a start there. <clears throat> if somebody had a problem on the start, let me know. If you no one had a problem, just stay quiet and I'll assume everything's fine. I'm getting out of the slip. Stay in the slip. Oh, I was just about to get out of the toe, but it looks like I still have it. Mr. Awesome's hood is up. I don't know if that's on their screen or just on mine. I'm trying to keep the draft. I don't know why they're taking the inside, but okay. Mr. Awesome's trying to force me to lose the slip. I'm going to go up here with Waterboy, but Waterboy's crashing out. All right, now I'm back with Mr. Awesome. It's you and me, Mr. Awesome. <clears throat> so it is six laps. We are on lap number two. There is one required pit stop. I'm going to try to bump draft you, Mr. Awesome. Mr. Awesome's brake checking me. What's all that about? I mean, I could slingshot around you. I can't, I can't get around them. On to the third lap here. Quit blocking, Mr. Awesome. Quit blocking. Remember, we both have to pit at some point. Oh no, I had to get out of the throttle. Can I get the slipstream back? Can I get the slipstream back? Oh no, well, reset. So Sunday driver, if, I don't know if Carmen's reset or not. Never give up, never surrender. Mr. Awesome looked like he was gonna go into the pits. They are going into the pits. I should have followed him. He made the decision too late. I couldn't follow him. I hate this. Now I'm gonna be all by myself. I'm in first, but I still have to pit. And I'm all by myself now. Remember the pit speed. You have to get to your pit box. Reset and then go. 
I'm all by myself. I hate this. Is anybody near me? I don't think they are. Let's take a look behind me. I am all by myself. This is not good. I think I'm going to... Well, I, ha I kind of really have to pit this time around. This time or next time. I guess I'll pit this time. I mean, as long as you stop, you don't actually have to do a reset. He's not right behind me. That's the problem. Here comes the pits. Get down to that 50 mile an hour speed limit. I'm going to choose not to actually do the reset so that I can keep low on fuel. There's my pit box. Stop and go. And I reset my car. I stalled my car. That's not great. And Onan and Mr. Awesome passed me. If I didn't stall my car, I was going to be able to pick them up. Now I'm down in the third. No. If I didn't stall my car. I could have been in the pack. Now I'm all by myself again. This is not good. This is not good. Also, not shifting the six. Not good. I mean, I might get a podium here, but unless those guys wreck each other out, not, not that I'm hoping for that at this point. into the wall because I was trying to read chat quit trying to read chat how about trying to race there's Sunday driver I'm going too fast to slip stream them make the pass on the high side here comes Gatsby <laughs> Catching up to Gatsby. I'll pass them on the low side. Bob, you reset because you missed a checkpoint. Oh, no. I will now be making the checkpoints unmissable. That is one of the things on the new list, on the, on the near-term list. Because of the pit stop thing, that is definitely an issue. That sucks. That sucks, Mr. Awesome. And there it is. I finish. Oh, I finished in second. Because of that issue with Mr. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Ah, and Sunday Driver kills me. Ha. Ah. So water boys and Cassium, where the, they're still running around. There they are. Uh, well, it, that's that's because you're you're the the race is over. The leaders finished. It's a visual glitch that it's not showing you the flags because you're laps down. That's all. And you reset. Onan, your first win. Congratulations. Yeah. So once the leaders finish and you see those two, the, at least one uh, checkered flag, that means everybody else is done. So the, the whole race is over at this point. Nobody's going to be progressing anymore. <clears throat> well, then the only reason that that would happen is if uh, you had missed a checkpoint. But that... Yeah, that would be the only reason. <clears throat> As if you missed a checkpoint. And in on this race, if you had reset on pit lane and it teleported you to your pit box, it would have skipped a uh it would have skipped the start finish line. So it would have put you an entire lap down. That's why I said don't reset on pit lane unless you're in your pit box. 
Uh, also, Randy, the timer in here just says 1 8 when it's. What's well, a single digit number in the seconds place? Oh, okay. I'll have to, uh, let me, um, beep that or boop that in the video so I can look at that. Hey, Envy, how you doing? Hey, Random, you failed at going to sleep again. Oh, no. Well, at least you get to watch the stream. What is 4-1.2? So that's lap 4, checkpoint, uh... Two, uh, so, okay, so <laughs> it's so the 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 first uh, two checkpoints here. Let me let me let me do this first. So that's the way this is gonna finish. Onan in first, Random in second, Mister Awesome in third, Gatsby in fourth, Sunday Driver in fifth, Waterboy in sixth, Cassium in seventh. We'll accept those points into the race. Here, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what. Uh, I'll show you what the those numbers mean now so i haven't figured out a better way to show these so this is the way they show them i'll use this track as an example then we'll then we'll watch the replay but let me show you what those numbers mean had you reset on pit lane without being in your pit box and end up getting teleported on pit lane to your pit box that's my question. That's what I'm guessing happened. So here, let me explain what you're seeing here. So with parallel checkpoints, you see the start finish line here. There's also the start finish line over here. Okay. So that's checkpoint 1.1 because it's, it's checkpoint number. Uh, it's, it's Pat. It's the primary path, path number one, checkpoint one. And this is path number two, checkpoint one. So this will be one point, uh, yeah, one point one, and this is actually both of these will say, yeah, I took the path out, right? So I confuse that example. So this is checkpoint one, point one. This is checkpoint also one point one. This is checkpoint one point two, as well as this is checkpoint one point two. So they're parallel. This checkpoint. And this checkpoint are equivalent. And this checkpoint and this checkpoint are equivalent. And that checkpoint and that checkpoint are equivalent. And that checkpoint and... So that's an example of why I just call can't call it like checkpoint one and checkpoint two. Because in here... Uh... We have an extra checkpoint down on this path. So I forget how many laps there are, or how many checkpoints there are in total, but let's say this was checkpoint f five. This would be 5.1 and this would be 5.2. This side doesn't have a 5.2. It goes from 5.2 back to 1.1. So that's all. No, uh, both checkpoints are available in when they're parallel checkpoints. You wouldn't have to go through the pits. What you, it, this is only a temporary problem because I will make the checkpoints quote unquote unmissable. Uh, now it's I really have to do that now that we have uh, pitting. Um, if you do a reset, because you can't really rewind anymore without going to the pits if we have pits on a race. So because of that, I have to fairly quickly get um, unmissable checkpoints in. But that's going to be a little while out because now I'm working on just getting this onto the server. Unless there's other bugs. Um, I'm just working really hard on getting this onto servers. Because I really want to get that done now. Uh, and I did hear somebody saying... Yeah, there it is. Rands, you can't, Cats of America saying, you can't figure out the livery editor. You don't know how to mirror stuff. Uh, yeah, I figured that part out. I just couldn't figure out how to use a, uh, use a livery once I make it. See, Carmen's saying that because what happened was you and Sunday crashed in the beginning and you reset 
then went out of the pits and got stuck at 1.2. Uh, well, let's 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 take a look at the replay and take the mystery out of this. So I have the checkpoint spawn, so we'll see the checkpoints during the replay. So let's just pause this here. We'll do all of our zoom outs. Oops, wrong button. All right, so let's get up to Mr. Awesome at the front. How many races left? There will be at least two races left. At least two races left. Wrong lever rank. I don't know what that means. Wrong lever rank. Mr. Awesome's car is just messed up. Onan does not get a good start. Ends up being in the back of the pack, but it's going to be Mr. Awesome in first. Waterboy in second. Random and Cassium really tied for third. Then it's Gatsby. Whoops. Someone's spawning a car or something. Quit doing that during the replay, please. You stalled. Oh, no. People, quit changing your car or whatever. Oh, you, you're trying to combine my name with Kronk. Well, let's see what's going on back here. So where did Gatsby go? So Gatsby's up there. Onan has a piece of Gatsby's car stuck in their car. The car's still pretty close together. Still Mr. Awesome in first. Waterboy second. Random Minds third. Onan kills Sunday Driver. <coughs> doesn't, doesn't notice. Guys, you have to notice when if you kill somebody. I know it's hard in Oval, but guys, come on. Onan will have to dock you. And there, and there's there's the crash. Let's see where that happened. Oh, that was Waterboy and Cassium. Let's see what happened to them. You thought Sunday went into you? Actually, let, let's take a look at that, because I don't know which way it went, actually. Let's see. You're, you're right. That could be the case. Let me get back there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention enough. So here we are again. Cassium's behind Gatsby. Oh, uh, I was paying attention to Own in there. So it's Sunday Driver coming down. Yeah, Sunday Driver did go into Onan. So, yeah, I take everything I just said back. I take it all back. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday's even admitting in chat they slid down. <coughs> so it's still pretty even. Oh, and there's where Waterboy spun out. Now it's Mr. Awesome in first, Random in second. Now we're back with Gatsby. I'm not sure. Something looks like it's probably going to happen here. So there's Mr. Awesome and Random. Mr. Awesome, you were like totally blocking me. Carmen said something in chat. Random Minds, part of your car is an Onan. Now that's what I call advertising. There you go. There's Gatsby and Onan. Running pretty close together. Now, Gatsby and that, there you go. Getting down behind Onan will get you in the slipstream <clears throat> to be able to try to pass them. You want to try to stay in their slipstream. You don't want to lose it or else they'll get away from you because they could have the slip from the person in front of them. And Waterboy's apologizing to Cassium for that. Stand up and stretch. I will do the thing. Standing up and stretching. Now I was doing that and then I missed what happened. So let's see this again. <coughs> I heard the crash. Oh. And so that's a lot of lessons to be learned here. A lot of lessons to be learned here. So. Biggest lesson of all is when you're on. See, so. 
there so Sunday driver has to come out of pit lane now Sunday driver could have put on the brakes and slowed down but even better Onan and Gatsby you probably shouldn't be running the low side at pit exit because there will be people coming out of the pits Yeah, I, I would say uh, a lot of things could have happened. So Sunday could have slowed down, but that's not necessarily their responsibility there, although they do have to rejoin, try to rejoin the track safely. But I think that it's Onan and Gatsby are probably... The, I think both are to blame there, but I think Onan and Gatsby are more largely to blame there because... Uh, because you shouldn't you shouldn't be that close to pit lane. See, I tried to pass Mr. Awesome on the high side. Had to back out of it. Because they cut me off. Blocking Mr. Awesome. What is up with that? Then Onan able to catch up and get my drafting there. Take it up with Sim Racing Stewards. That would be a good one for Sim Racing Stewards. Somebody wants to clip that out and send it over there. The Mr. Awesome thought that's where, where where the pits were, misses it. Now they're going into the pits. I should have followed them. I really should have followed them. I go ahead on my own. That's true. You did make one move to defend. That's allowed. That This is true. Drink water. I will drink water. And there they are coming into the pits. A stop, reset, and go. Now you can just stop and go. Well, that's 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 what's allowed in racing. You're, if someone's coming up behind you, you can make one move, but that's all you can you can. If they're trying to go around you, you can go down to block them. Now, beware! You're you're at risk of hitting them if you do that. Uh, but you can try to do it, and if you end up crashing into them, it's your fault. But uh, you're allowed to make that move. The person behind should check up and slow down <clears throat> uh, if they're smart. Uh, it's not their responsibility if, they, if, if, it's a, if it's a close move. Like, I, I don't know if I'd move down there. Yep. I, I wouldn't have done. So that move Mr. Awesome tried to make there, I would not have done that. Uh, it would have been Mr. Awesome's fault if that was a problem. Well, it's not their responsibility to do that at that point. If somebody cuts you off and then you end up crashing into them. But if they're smart, they would do it anyway, is what I'm saying. There I am coming out of the pits. If I hadn't stalled it, I would have caught up to these two. <coughs> I forget what I was saying before, but um, yeah. So, but if, if then they, if they went down to block and the person behind them then went the other way went then on the high side the person in the front couldn't make a second move and go to the high side they they would have been juked and they would have had to stay there and then move back up so they they they, they couldn't have moved back up if if the person goes down they're blocked and then they go up on the high side for example the other person can't make a second move so the one move is fine so onan's saying that you thought that was on Onan. Randomized, you felt so bad you gave him position back. You thought it was your fault. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. It, it, I mean, any race manager, I, I, I uh, and and you know, I, I racing's race man, everything would probably put the fault at the person behind. Oh, and Mr. Awesome, I don't know if you got that checkpoint. Maybe you did. Oh, they didn't. That, that was the missed checkpoint and having to reset. That's what that was right there. Um, but if it was an automated penalty system, it probably would have given the penalty the person in the back. It, it You could have probably protested it and you would have gotten it back because it would have been a, a move and then juke and then they, they, you know, they came down, they hit you. So... They were on a line. The person tries to pass. You come down into them. The automated system will give the person in the back the error, or the 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 penalty. But it would have been the person in the front's fault. 
So that would be one I would protest after an automa automated uh, penalty. Sunday Driver has the speed on Gatsby there. Looks like Gatsby has a more full fuel tank. That also plays into part. Free Mountain Dew in the pits. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, I need to drink water. No, Bob, it would have been your fault. Yeah, it looks by the by the speed that you guys, both of you two were going, I would have said, and that's the end of the race there. So I, I, I would have said that, um, I, I forgot what I was going to say. I had too many, I had too many sentences running all at the same time. I confused myself. So Onan, yeah. So Onan should would say if if I had the automated penalty system in place, Onan would have gotten the penalty because they were in the back, and it's always the person in the back's fault, except when it's not. And that would have been the case of except when it's not. So that would have been a protest, and and that penalty that Onan would have gotten would have been overturned. Bob, the editor, was making a hot pocket during half of that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. So now we're going to go on to the banger race. So I will unlock the menus from everybody. Although I think they had already unlocked because the race was over. It just doesn't update my UI. So there's that. Uh, so everybody go ahead and pick any gambler or derby car that you like. We're going to go on the figure eight. No, it's not not the cannonball yet. It's the derby first. So it's any derby or gambler car. I I am in a, a fog right now. I am I I'm I barely know what I'm saying at any given point in time. So if I make mistakes, I apologize. Oh, you know you're just saying you're not looking forward to this cannonball. I love this cannonball. How many times do you get to do a race down a ramp? That's pretty awesome. That's true. That's true, Mr. Awesome. Cats America is saying, the way you think of it is if your front bumper is not next to the lead car's front tire, you don't consider yourself... Uh, yeah, so... If... if so that, that's, that is generally the rule. If... It's it's always it's generally going to be the person in back's fault. But if the person have a, has established themselves uh, on the inside, for example, in other words, their front tire is a beam of the other person's front tire. The front tires are side by side. They're, they're then established. That's the word you're thinking of. Either a beam or established. Probably established. A beam is more of a flying term. But in any event. If the tires are, if your front tire, some people say it differently. The way I look at it is if your front tire is directly parallel to the other person's rear tire, I consider that established. Then if the person comes down, it would be the person in front's fault. So if I'm good enough in coding, that's the way I would make the penalty system work. So it would have to be able to detect that. I'd have to see that you are, you know, let, let, let's just say a, a quarter of the way uh, overlapping the other car. The unpalatable doesn't run. Or, yeah, yeah, they still haven't fixed that. If you want the unpalatable, just replace the rear seat with the fuel tank and it will run if you want it. I'm going to go with the pointless again. Can I please wait for you? Um, well, we're, we're unfortunately envy envix. Uh, we're on the limited night. Thursday is the limited night. I've capped it at seven people for FPS reasons. Uh, so Saturday we, it will be an unlimited night. So Saturday is at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. That's GMT minus four. As many people can join until my computer starts to cry. 
your car won't load when you load it your load or spawn the car yourself so just click on your name and click on load colors and then it will show up So, yeah, sorry about that, Envixie. But, yeah, I, I try to make one night, and it is Thursday night that we limit it so that people with lower NPCs can have some fun racing. It's okay? Well, thank you. Thank you for under... I'm trying to, trying to make it so as many people as possible can race. That's what I'm trying to do. So, it's a first-come, first-serve on Thursdays. Uh, during the off-season, anyway. And a, uh, a, a, what do you call it? A, uh, unlimited on Saturdays and Tuesdays. You may have an idea for a derby car, but it seems like anytime you make a derby car, it's too strong. Well, just don't make it too strong. You get it? Thank you, Envix. Uh, oh, so Waterboy's saying they have to leave, and they did. So there you go, Envix. You can go ahead and get in. They already left. Sorry to see you leave, Waterboy. You're welcome to race with us again anytime. We'll be racing again Saturday, and we'll be racing Tuesday. And if this is going well tonight and we don't have any problems, we may start the league next week. I'll make the determination uh, on, on next Tuesday, but we may start the league next week. Yeah, there's like 30 new horns on the cars let's see what everybody has chosen here so okay well Gatsby may have had an issue Sunday drivers chosen a car Cassium has chosen a car Onan has chosen a car and I have chosen a car so if Envix just come on in come on in Envix and we'll Get a car. It's loading in. All right. Well, why is this showing these buttons? It shouldn't. Oh, it's because I loaded that track. That's why. Okay. So let me spawn us over there to the figure eight. We'll, we'll, th this won't be the real qualifying. We'll wait for Envix to get in. If they get in quick enough. D-E-F. Figure 8. There it is. Figure 8. Remember, leave your car stock. And I'm not limiting. I, I don't have a fix. So just go ahead and practice here. I'll put us in the qualifying mode so we can practice while we wait for Envix to get here. Um, I don't have it in the code yet to restrict you from resetting but remember this will be a timed race this is just practice right now not the real qualifying but in the race itself there's no resets no node grabbing none of those things eventually and soon now i should be able to make it so that uh this is uh what do you call it you won't be able to do a reset now that I have that infrastructure in place. I'll try to make that change this weekend. And then we'll be able to hopefully start the season next week. Unless unless there are other problems. I don't think anybody's seen... Has anybody seen any problems? So we're done really testing the pit stop thing. <clears throat> so one did anybody see any problems that's my first question i don't think i saw any issues with the way the system's set up but i'm just one person let me know what your thoughts are and if uh and also what do you think about where the pits should be should the pits start at the uh far end of pit lane or should they start at the near end pit lane? So should the pit start at the beginning of pit lane, which means as you're driving counterclockwise, should pit number one be the first pit you get to, or should pit number one be the last pit that you get to? Y 
you need a way to define pit lane so you can skip the timer if the person is in pit lane or has reset. So the way it's supposed to work, and that is one bug actually, thanks for reminding me. So that is one bug I have to fix. So the way it's intended to work is if you are, if you're in pit lane and you have already uh, hit your pit box and you hit reset again, it should skip the timer and just set you back to your pit box um, as a penalty for resetting again. Um, it shouldn't restart the timer. So that's a bug that I do have to fix. So thank you for reminding me. Um, but with that in place, the other bug is if your pit is after... I have to account for if your pit is after the start-finish line. That if you enter pit lane and hit the pits... Um, and, and then you hit reset, it will still teleport you to your to your pit box, but unfortunately, it would end up at that point, then you'd end up missing the start finish line. So Onan's saying that, so let me translate what Onan said into my own words. So. Onan is saying the person on the pole position should have the pit box at the start of pit lane. So that is how I interpret what Onan says. Because that's what that would end up being. So there's an... I, I think... See, that's, that's the thing. That, that there's an advantage. So the advantage to it being at the end of pit lane is that you can accelerate and keep accelerating uh, out of pit lane. So if you're if you're number if you're on the pole position, you wouldn't have. I mean, it all works out in the end, right? Because you had to drive slow down pit lane, but then you can accelerate unrestricted out of pit lane. But maybe maybe we should do a poll. So Envix, go ahead and pick any derby. Or gambler car. <clears throat> See that? That's another. That is another argument that Mr. Awesome put up. Is that yeah? Then people would be slowing down to a to a crawl at the beginning of pit lane uh, more often than not, and possibly causing a crash, and then people having the tow. So if one of the mods could put up a poll while we're waiting here for Envix to pick a car. Oh, they've already picked a car. Well, let's do the poll anyway now. Uh, do a poll of whether uh, pole position pits at the beginning of pit lane or at the end of pit lane. So the beginning of pit lane is where you enter the pits and the end of pit lane is where you exit the pits. So pole position, so the person in first place on the grid, should they pit at the beginning of pit lane or the end of pit lane? And I will bring up the pole onto the screen so we could see it. Oh, that was the last poll. Is, that, is any of the mods here? The thing Randy said. Yeah, there you go. So, pole position pits. There it is. The pole is up. Envix has the same colors as Onan. So, yeah, Onan has been here longer. So, Envix, if... Did you just clone... I think they just cloned their car. So, Envix... Go ahead and load your colors, because I'm pretty sure you do have uh, saved colors. So load your colors so they're not the same as Onan, if you could. So far, there's only one vote in the poll. Get your get your uh, opinions in. How long is this poll running for? I don't see a timer on it. So now we have one and one. <coughs> 
I should make an option that you can also, um... Are there mods? There are a few mods. Uh, Death Raids and welcome. Welcome to the stream. This on, on what you see on the left is the race manager I've been writing for the last year or so. We've just introduced pits and towing into the race manager. Death Riders is now following. My goal is to make this game so Envix has loaded their colors. So my game, my goal with the race manager is to make this the next big racing sim. We've just added, um, as you notice, cars can go through each other because we're in a qualifying, so we're all in ghosted mode. That's something a race manager does. Uh, it lets us have the grid. It lets us do here. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel this qualifying. It lets us have points. It lets us have penalties. Although I don't have I have a penalty system. I just haven't implemented them yet. We now, as of today, have uh, pits and towing. So three people saying the end of the pits and only one person saying the beginning of the pits. So that's what I'll do. I'll make that the default. Pole position will pit at the end of pit box and it will count backwards from there. In the main race, can you crash into each other? Uh, in this particular race that we're running right now, yes, we're about to run a banger race. During a night, we generally do four races. We do two serious races where you race clean. This is a banger race. And then we do a cannonball with scattered checkpoints all across the map. Carmen San Diego incorrectly said that they needed to go on a bio break. I don't I think that's what they meant. They used the wrong words, though. Uh, but you're 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 going to stay is what it looks like you said. So I'm well, I'm going to put us in the real qualifying mode so we can do the actual qualifying. If you need to take a bio break, now's the time to do it and then do it quickly and then come back and uh, get in a qualifying. Yeah, how could you forget? Bio break, trademark, TM. <clears throat> Sunday driver has used the fuel cell. Approved. So here we go. We're in. No, no, we're going to start the real qualifying now. We we're just waiting for Envix to get in. See, Bob's got it right. You do it during the replays. That's the best time to do it. But this is the real qualifying now. This is four position in the grid. You can reset here as much as you need, as much as you want. During the race, it's not yet physically restricted, but no resets, no node grabbing. Well, you can't node grab, but no resets, no rewinding. When you're dead, you're dead. It'll be a five minute timed race. Hopefully over the weekend, I will have that in place as well, since all the rest of the infrastructure is there to support limiting and not allowing the resets at all during a banger race or derby race. Looks like I have to switch in the second sometimes here. Sunday driver in the lead on qualifying currently. Yeah, I am. I Like I said, that's what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to make the uh, derbies so that... Well, it'll, it'll be an option in the race just to say no resets, for example. So, yes, that is definitely what I'll be doing. Hopefully that change will be made this weekend. It's a, it's a fairly small change uh, the way it's in here right now.
we're tying up all the loose ends so that we can first one have our new season which is going to be a whole lot of oval racing but i think every race is going to have pit stops in this season well uh the, the serious races are the banger races will have the resets physically prevented node grabbing is already prevented while races are going on as soon as i spawn you a car also if we can have no reset racing longer endurance racing when yeah th th those are the things that are now possible now that we have pits that is what we're going to be able to do yeah you know, i'm telling you cannonballs aren't serious well yeah they're they're they're, they're not necessarily very serious no <laughs> they are just a whole heck of a lot of fun i oh now i'm back in the third can i see him past me i'm losing power here is the problem i'm gonna do a reset here even though it fills my gas tank They are fun. You like the cannonballs. I know you like the cannonballs, Carmen San Diego. I don't know why you don't know the West Coast shortcuts. They're easy. Uh, you made you made a sunburst uh, derby car. Cool. How do you not know West Coast's shortcuts? They're the easy shortcuts. Italy is the hard shortcuts. If you can know the Italy shortcuts. That's true. Italy was the first cannonball. That is absolutely true. Can you switch vehicles? No. Qualifying is over. That Your vehicle is your vehicle. Well, if, if, you, you're qualified in fifth. I'll say, yeah, I'll, I'll say you can. Yeah, I'll accept your, the qualifying since you're since you're so far down I'll, I'll let you go ahead and change your car if you want and vix i will allow your car change since you're towards the back of the pack so go go ahead and change the no changing after qualifying is to prevent you from getting a fast car to qualify well and then getting a beefy car later this is this is you're kind of doing it the other way around so we are going to bang now. That is correct, KG Wag. Hey, KG Wag. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for Envix, Envix to... Well, I have to unlock the menus, I guess. Now I'm waiting for Envix to change their vehicle. There's no nude banging. You can't even say it like that. What did you miss? A whole lot of really fun oval races. You'll have to go to YouTube and watch the VOD. All right, here comes Envix's car. Go ahead and load your colors onto that Envix. <coughs> and then we'll start this thing. Randy likes it closed. You can't say it like that either. So Envix, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Now they're loading the colors. And I guess that's them loaded. All right. Let me get back to my car. And we'll load this up and we'll do the thing. Let me just make sure that it's set properly. Because we haven't been here in a while. So it is let set for five minutes. Yes. So it is set correctly. Uh, let's see. Motorsports Playground. Motorsports Playground. Big Gear 8. I have a lot of tracks in here. How many? I have. Can you believe this, chat? 
Somebody try to guess how many tracks I have in here. I have 165 tracks configured in this game. That's awesome. You lost first. It's close. Yeah, 165. 165 tracks. That's in that is absolutely insane. No, I want to start the race, but then I'm sitting here waffling about it anyway. But yeah, it's 106. Well, probably a little less. 65, 64, 6. It's probably 163, really, because I have a couple dummy files in there. All right, here we go. Five minute timed race. No resets, no node grabbing. Colliding is allowed and expected, but we can try to keep it clean as far as we can. Good luck, everybody. I just want to make it past lap one. Carmen wasn't ready. All right, we'll restart it. We'll restart it. We'll restart it. We'll cancel that. We'll restart it. No worries. No worries. Stream delay messed you up. Well, hopefully you're ready this time. Hopefully you are ready this time. Let's see. <laughs> In stereo, when available. Motorsports Playground, figure eight. There it is. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Good luck. Random Minds Carmen, no F here, but you're still going to try to pit you. Okay, interesting. No! My goal is to make it past lap number one. You're on YouTube now, but don't let you down. Well, I'm gonna try not to. Last two banger races I were in, I was in. I died on the first lap. Well, I think maybe I made it to the second lap. I count that as productive. There's death already all over the track. I did. I thought to myself yesterday, maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I'm not as fatigued as I am. Maybe I'm just lazy. So I had, so when I moved into this house, there were some brown patches. Ah, there were some brown patches in my yard. So I bought some clover some white clover to fill in the the patches. Ah! Car's still going. All right, let's go. A little damaged, but we're still moving. So I bought uh, a few pounds of clover seed to plant. It's hard to see where people are. Yeah, not in the house, in the yard. So I planted it, nothing grew. But I, I, I had, I, I seeded with two pounds of seed, nothing grew. I had also bought a bag, a 10 pound bag. But then I was like, all right, well, if, if the, uh, if the seeds would have worked, I was gonna then go ahead and do the backyard or do the whole, both the front and the backyard, all of them said just the brown patches, but nothing came up. Oh, someone accidentally reset. Oh, no. Hopefully that will not happen in the future. The game will get better. Anyway, so it didn't work. So I was like, oh, great. I have 10 pounds of seed that doesn't work here. So, okay, waste of money. Put it in the closet. Where, you know, sunk costs, all that. Then this year, all of a sudden, these little tiny per... Yeah, leave your car right there. That's fine. Um, so I was like, all, all, where I had planted what was supposed to be white clover, this year, several years after I planted it, 
these little tiny purple flowers, these little tiny violet flowers came up. So violet clover instead of white clover uh, came up. So it may it must have been labeled wrong, but it, it worked. So yesterday I went out and I seeded with 10 pounds of uh, purple clovers or violet clovers, however you want to say it. I was exhausted. My fatigue is not in my head. It is real. I couldn't stop coughing for about three hours. It was horrible. Am I the only one still running? I think I'm the only one still running. No, the, a couple of people are still moving. It's like, Gats oh no. No, don't hit that. I was going to see if I could push Gatsby over it, but then I changed my mind at the last minute because my car is smoking like crazy. I think it would just have killed me. But I don't think anybody else is moving. Oh, no. Envix. I see Envix's numbers changing. Maybe I'll try to push Carmen over. I'm a little scared, too. There's only four minutes left. Where's Gatsby? There's Gatsby. Uh, it doesn't want to push over, and that just did a lot of damage to my car. So I tried. I tried. It's smoking a lot now. Sunday driver's just glitching back and forth. That's crazy. Ah! Hey, if you're out, you can't try to kill people like that. If you're out, you're out. No, no sitting there and then move at the last second there, buddy. Gotta hit your cab head on. Well, this is the final lap of the race. There you go. But I'm gonna end the race. It's not, but they were all the way at the back, so. And I'm finishing the race right there. Uh, there it is, finished first. That's the only reason, there's no loophole. It's just that they weren't going to improve their position because I, uh, I was in the lead and I was finishing the race, but it looks like that's gonna be it. Everybody dead. Literally everybody is dead. Well, Mr. Awesome's barely. It's called mercy. Exactly. Your steering went. So Bob had reset. Who was the one? Who was? Who was the one? Oh, it was Mr. Awesome. Yeah, you little son of a gun. You sit right there. You sit right here. And then while I go to pass you, then move. You cheeky little... Sunday stopped with an error. Yeah, your car was just, and still is, glitching out like crazy. We'll stop the replay there. I don't know why I was still running it. But that's the way it's going to finish with Random Minds in first, Envix in second, Gatsby in third, Sunday Driver in fourth, Onan in fifth, Cassium in sixth, Mr. Awesome in seventh. Let me accept those points into the books before people's computers die then kg wag says make a are you sure you want to reset screen well i i intended to want to i i intended to put that in there saying are you sure you want to reset um unfortunately that was going to take a lot longer to put into place so that is where I'm going with this, but it's just not there now. I want to get at least something in for this season. And then, uh, well, you never know. I bombed the Derby last time and ended up finishing first for the night. It was crazy. But yeah, so I, I, I do plan to have, are you sure you want to tow? Or if you're in the pits, pit lanes, like, are you sure you want to reset here type of thing? But yeah, it was going to take a little, a lot longer to do. I don't know how to do it. 
I was researching how to do it, and it was fairly complex, so I'm sure it'll be easy once I totally figure out, but... You know, this past week, you've been eating a lot of hamburgers. I didn't hear this said to me. I don't know why. Cats of America saying you've been eating a lot of hamburgers. By the way, always good. I eat a lot of cheeseburgers myself. All you can say is all the one-third pound burger patties are super good. They are. I ate those. I know the ones you're talking about. I ate those for a long time. First podium place. Let's go, says Envix. Let's go. Uh, was hoping for first for the night. Yeah, all right. If you may inquire, do you know how many lines of code are in the race manager? I can tell you. Then we're going to look at the... Then we're going to look at the... Oh, why is... Well... Hold on a second. I'll tell you. I, well, I can't... I, I mean... I skipped over... Car I was trying to... So many people are saying so many things. You feel like would be kind of annoying if you're crashed out and want to get towed immediately in the heat of the race. Well, that it would be a double click. So you, you, you'd hit reset once. It's It'll basically say, are you sure? And then you, you either just hit your button again and it does or then or you arrow over and then you choose another one or something so I, i'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible spectate kg wag you're not in the race i can't spectate you now hold on a second i'm, I'm bringing this up hold on a second uh so give or take a few lines of code on the client side I mean, there, there's slightly less than 4,158 lines of code on the client. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it so it can, it'll be in your res whatever your reset button is, you would be able to hit it twice. Either that or you hit your arrow over button, whatever that is, and, and then say no. So it could be a double click or a click and then arrow and then click no. So on the client side, there's over 4,000 lines of code. On the server, there is... Let me load that up. On the server, there is over 2,000 lines of code. That can probably be reduced a lot. There, there's some deleted code in there and stuff like that. How do you get more good or at racing? Uh, practice. <laughs> All right, let's look at that replay, and then we will move on. <clears throat> I am very delirious. Sorry I am taking so long to do th the things tonight, guys. I, I am sorry. Uh, you feel like you would be kind of annoying if you're crashed out and want to get towed. Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's what you said before. Let me scroll down saying you'd recommend starting that off on no so that people can just hit the confirm button on the controller to not reset. No, I want to make it easy for them to reset. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'll have to think about that. I'm not in the right mindset to think about things right now. So, But you, you make a good point. In fact, I'm going to mark this point in the video so I can look at that later. Is it an Osmobile trumpet? What? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Get the camera here. All right. Here we go. I am. I am. I am losing my mind right now. But there they go. Off the start. It's Sunday Driver in first. Random in second. Cassium in third. Own in fourth. Env in fifth. Gatsby sixth. Mr. Awesome seventh. Mr. Awesome T-boning Gatsby. Getting into Envix. And so far now, it's Sunday Driver in first, Random in second, Cassium in third, Mr. Awesome second, Onan, or uh, yeah. Sunday Driver first, Random second, Cassium third, Mr. Awesome spinning Cassium out. Cassium gets themselves restarted. Gatsby going the other direction for a second, crashing out Onan, then continuing on. Oh, what happened down here? Let me rewind that. I heard something. Idiot proofing is absolutely necessary for you specifically. Well, there you go. 
What, what happened to Sunday Driver there? I missed it again. Huge hit. Was it Gatsby that did that? <coughs> Watch it again. So Gatsby going. Does Gatsby taking out Sunday Driver? And then also taking out Onan. Can I take a look at what you did? What, what? I think I just did. <laughs> I think the stream is just delayed. Hey, Gray Fox, how you doing? Oh no, and Mr. Awesome now into Envix. Uh, they're having a problem now. Envix is smoking. Mr. Awesome might be dead right there. That could be the end of Mr. Awesome. Random Minds and Onan just barely missing each other. I met, barely miss hitting Envix right there. Sunday Driver tries to take me out, but Sunday Driver's having their own issues. Looks like their steering's broken. <coughs> Envix is not doing well. Your left front wheel was off the ground. You were quite dead. Well, yeah, that... I guess that would do it. That's usually a pretty robust car. I'm surprised that happened. Random Minds now in the lead. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't try to. It just I, It's hard to see on this track. It's hard to see over everything. And what we did, you're, you're, you're very delayed, Envix. I believe we had, we did see that definitely. In fact, there you are now, still trying to get that car turned. Cassium's still going. Gatsby's still going pretty strong. Strong made the pass on Sunday Driver there. Random Minds smoking like crazy, but still going strong. Envix able to get it moving in a forward direction. Gatsby and Cassium crashed out. Let's see what happened there. So here's it happening here. Gatsby coming over the jump. <clears throat> Gatsby just takes the jump poorly, ends up on the side all on their own. Cassium comes by, tries to flip him over. Doesn't seem like it's going to work. Cassium's smoking a lot. That was all. Yeah, that was all you can. Yeah, it was a one vehicle crash. Sunday driver dead there. We didn't see the death. Let's rewind it a bit. See if we can see that death. Uh, looks like that. Yeah, that's when their computer started glitching out. R.I.P. Sunday Driver. Sunday Driver does so well in these two. Cassium's car just about out of commission. Envix desperately trying to get her around the track. Having a hard time turning right. The, the Wii Woos on Gatsby's car, though. Random Mind's still going. Envix still going. Sunday Driver just glitching into Envix right there. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. The COVID is a beast. T-Bone at the beginning of the race. Car smoking like crazy. Still going strong. Envix still moving. It looks like it is just me and Envix. The only two moving right now. Envix missed a checkpoint. Oh no, that sucks. Well, like I said, soon we will have the unmissable checkpoints. There, I, I, I was thinking about helping Gatsby. I changed my mind at the last minute, ended up crashing into a rock. This is the second to last lap now. Envix having had done an extra lap because they missed a checkpoint. Mr. Awesome trying to kill me every time I pass. Not cool, Mr. Awesome. Not cool. Gray Fox. I think talking about Sunday Driver glitching but not giving up. That's what you told them last night. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. There's me trying to help Gatsby out. And that was a third to last lap. This is now the second to last lap. 
Envix still moving, still going. The F1 sprint is going to be madness tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? And then cool. Where's that race at? That's where Mr. Awesome tried to kill me. The shameful, shameful. Let's take a look at that again. Watch the shamefulness unfold. I can't even believe this. Look at this. Sitting here like that and then killing me after they were already technically out from inactivity. Trying to kill me. But this car is just a beast. It just keeps on going. China, they haven't raced there in a while and they only get on free practice, one free practice before the sprint. Oh, that's crazy. That's almost like these races. <laughs> you can practice for five minutes and then you're done. Let's race. There's where I get Gatsby turned back over. This is the last lap of the race. See how Gatsby pays me back by crashing into my car? Cats of America's gonna be right back cooking burgers. Cooking burgers is good. And there it is across the line, finishing the race. So we will stop the replay there. Get the UI back up on the screen. All right. Uh, da 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 Right, the cannonball. Yes, that's what we're doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what's going on. Whoops. Okay, that's... That's a whole lot of spam in the thing. Okay, I'll have to look at that log file. Thank goodness that wasn't me that was doing that. Oh, am I in my own car? Yes, I'm in my own car. All right, let's get the car out that will run in the cannonball. I'm going to make the cannonball easy on everybody today. Random Minds, professional streamer. I'm so professional. I never have any clue as to what I'm doing. Oh, I hit the wrong car. So we're going to run the Vivos, Vivos Rally Gravel. Make it an easy cannonball today. <clears throat> Great show. Thank you, Gray Fox. Or are they talking about the F1 race? They could be talking about the F1 race. Either one, they're right. <laughs> yeah, you know, you were asking if you meant... Oh, okay, they're talking amongst themselves. Never mind. So giving everybody this car. Now for the cannonball, <coughs> I have placed checkpoints all across the map. I will spawn the track up and I will then put us in the qualifying mode. I will show you where all the checkpoints are. By teleporting from one to the next, you will have to hit all... Well, I'll get to that when we get there. You can reset and rewind as much as you need. If you end up hitting reset and it takes you past a barrier you have not gotten past yourself, you must rewind in order to... Uh, you, you can't have that reset get you past an obstacle. So you must rewind and get yourself over it your, uh, on, your, on your own accord. That's... Those weren't the right words, but you get the idea. Um, we, we, if you re if you crash into somebody, you don't have to wait for them because we'll be all over the map. That would be ridiculous. We try to keep it clean, but just reset and keep going. Yeah, great show, Random Minds, and you have a great channel. Thank you very much for saying that, Gray Fox. I appreciate it very much. I uh, trying to get this race manager finished so we can get some automated servers. Random Minds, your own Accord. This isn't a Honda, and your car is a Malibu. <laughs> Malibu's a good car. I had a Malibu. It uh, It's basically what replaced the Cavalier. I had two Cavaliers, and then I had uh, a Ford wagon because it was $150, and I needed a car. That only ran for like three months, and then I got a Malibu. And then I got another Malibu. And then I stopped driving. <laughs> and if you know, you know. So yeah, this is the race manager I've been working on for a while, uh, Gray Fox. That lets us do all the things that we're doing. We just added, if I don't know how long you've been watching the stream, but 
As of today, we now have pit stops and towing. If you reset on the track, if you reset in pit lane in your pit spot, it's free. Otherwise, you have to wait for towing, which is very cool. Getting close to having servers up and running automated races. We're going to turn Beam MP into the next great racing sim. It will be awesome. You have a 97 Ranger that needs some work, but it's a solid car. Cool, KG Wag. That's not a bad car. My first car was horrible. It was an old, rusted-out Subaru. Highway to Hell came on. Menu for colors. Uh, you should just be able to load your colors. Just click on your name. Just click on your name and hit load colors. You don't need access to anything else. Just do that. It's fine. Let's see what Envix is in right now. Oh, no. You already got the color. Well, okay. So, Envix, go ahead. I I've unlocked the menus if you... But save your colors so that you get the uh, you get the custom colors every time. Did I say that? I'm sorry. I mean, is that really a curse word? It's just a definition of a place. Depending on your beliefs, either mythical or not. Anyway, so let's just let's see if Envix has changed. I'll wait until so Envix load your save your colors and then load your colors and I'll see them. Once you're done, I'll load us over to the track. Just waiting to see their colors loaded. So when you load them, hit save colors. And then I do remember that last stream. All right, there they go. They have changed their colors. Putting the lockdown back on for really no apparent reason. You guys are all trustworthy. It's just a proof of concept. Oh, I need to get back to my car first. There we go. I can now actually totally get rid of this. I should do that. I'm going to put uh, ping and FPS over here so everyone can always see that. Anyway, I'm babbling. I am very fatigued. I barely know what's going on. Let's load this thing up. Let's get this thing going. Where, I'm scrolling past it. Where is the cannonball? Where is the cannonball? There's the cannonball. All right. So this spawns us in a regular grid, which doesn't make sense for the cannonball. So everybody will line up back here with me. We'll use this line right here to start. I'm just going to set my home position there so I can get back to it quickly. Hello, very fatigued. Hello, Carmen San Diego. I am very fatigued. Nice to meet you. All right, I'll hit start qualifying. This is just so I can... Now, I'm going to teleport from one to the next. Obviously, actually, I need to unlock the menu so I can teleport. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Forgot to set your home health. No problem. You can set it now. You can even free cam. So, actually, I should just be in the car. Because at the beginning, where are any of the shortcuts? They're all over the place. I can't believe you don't remember the shortcuts. You've run this so many times. So you do have to hit all the jumps. The checkpoints will not register if you're not on a jump. So on the way down, you have to hit them all. Choose your speeds wisely as you go over the jumps. Without shortcuts. Ah. I, I forgot that we were in ghosting mode. That freaked me out there for a second. I get yelled at when I show the shortcuts. It's People are supposed to remember. Well, start remembering them. You've been around the longest. You have been in, like, every single cannonball. Start memorizing. Start watching the old VODs. So I'm just going down. I'm not teleporting here because you do have to hit them all. Oh, no. You have. You made cars for the first one. Oh, that actually killed my car. Then this is the last ramp you have to hit. So then after that... You can largely follow the GPS. 
turn down there. Then we go across the track all the way over to the... Where is it? I can't even see it. Where is it? I got lost. Where is it? Where's the checkpoint? Here I am trying to show people stuff, and then I, 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 I lost where the checkpoint was. It's at the sumo pit, but now I forgot where the sumo... Oh, there it is. Sumo pit's over here. Uh, uh, one of the mods can kick Bill Laba there. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. So you, you get over to here. The only shortcut here is to get off of this road and then make the jump over that hill and hop into here. I'm, I decided to be kind today and show the shortcuts that I can remember. So you get to this one. Then you go, that's right over to here, I think. There it is. So this, there's really no shortcuts over to here. Basically just follow the GPS till it gets you over to the uh, Rocket League cage. Best viewer and follower is already here. His name is Onan. <laughs> there you go. Did anybody kick Bilba yet? You said banned for self-promoting. I mean, I don't know the person that's spam. So. I mean, if I know the person, the person asks if they can self-promote and I know them, that's fine. But uh, it to me, it just looks like a bot, really. Um, all right. So you get that checkpoint. Then you go across the map again. I forget where this one is now. Oh, it's over here. That's right. It's over here. So now the only really shortcut here. So if this car is good enough, you might be able to jump in over this wall here to get into the middle there. So, you, but then the other way is around this. No, the other. Yeah. And then once you're inside, whether you came through the tunnel or if you jumped in, then you can come over here and jump up through here. Get this checkpoint. And after that one, you really just follow the GPS to get to this checkpoint here at the figure eight. You made that shortcut. I'm not sure which one you're talking about, but I do I, I do think I recall you having made one of them. Now, the last one's the tricky one that gets everybody a little off. What you have to do is you have to, regardless of, in fact, this is the one where the, the GPS will lead you wrong. The one that jumps in the arena, that's right. The one from the, the middle, yes. I always get those wrong. I always mess that up. Anyway. The checkpoint is, the last checkpoint is all the way at the end of the runway. You have to eventually find your way over to the runway. Come down the runway. You can see the checkpoint coming in the view now. But you have to get speed, hit this jump, and then hit the checkpoint. If you do not, you're back. You got the bacon cheeseburger. Cool. Thank you. Hey, scroll up and... See where Bill Abba is and go ban them if you could, please. You'll see them uh, spamming stuff. I think it's a bot. So anyway, if you don't hit that jump and you instead follow the GPS after the figure eight, it will take you to the road here. Already banned? Thank you, KG Wag. For some reason, I didn't see it come up that they were banned. Anyway, if you follow the GPS, it will lead you here. Unfortunately... The checkpoint is there. So being here will not get you that checkpoint. So you must get to the uh, the airfield, hit the jump, and then get that last checkpoint right there. And then launch yourself into the water. So that is the course. I will cancel this qualifying because it doesn't matter. So thank you, KG Wag. You're back. You got your... Oh, you made a bacon cheeseburger. Now I'm jealous. I just make cheeseburgers. Today I had a cheeseburger. 
<coughs> a cheeseburger and a chicken sandwich with cheese. Anyway, let's load this thing up and do the thing. Let's do the thing. Last official race of the night. You have never gotten a bacon cheeseburger camp in San Diego? That is the best cheeseburger. You have to get yourself a bacon cheeseburger. It's awesome. Go to Wendy's and get a Junior Baconator. I think the regular Baconator is too big, but the Junior Baconator is awesome. I should put more Randy cooking videos on Discord. I could probably do that. Randomine's Catman San Diego. I, did I mention I'm really exhausted right now? Did I? Did I mention that? I always get people's names wrong. <laughs> no problem. Oh, KG Wag. No problem. No problem. Thank you. KG Wag's got an ad. Oh, no. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. All right. Here's the cannonball. No, you don't want this. This home is a disaster. All right. Everybody line up parallel with me. Come on back here. Line up with me. <coughs> and then we will start the cannonball. I had cleaned my whole kitchen, and then it turned into a disaster area again. All right, Envy, Sunday Driver, Gatsby, Mr. Awesome, come on back here. Line up. It's basically this, uh, put your tires at this uh, line in the concrete. Or back there is fine, too, if you like. All right, it looks like we're all set. All right, <clears throat> you play to lose? Well, you'll have to fight me for that honor. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. My car's even started, so that's already better than I usually do. Why did I, I keep missing the shift? And then here we go. Put neutral, save the engine. A little engine braking, real, little real braking, so we get a smooth transition. There it is, nice. Go back into freewheeling mode. Use that slipstream. And get on the brakes to make this jump easy. There we go. See if we can get more slipstream. I keep forgetting about slipstream here. No, no, no. There we go. Nice, nice. Exactly. Oh, but I shouldn't. Oh, no, this is going to be good, too. All right. Good, good, good. Good set of jumps. Down that hill. Get it slowed down. Make the turn. Get into the right gear. Let's go. Get it slowed down. Ah, crash anyway. Get it back in the reset. Get it back into the gear. Get the headlights on so I can see where I'm going. Remember to shift every once in a trillion years. Wait till we see the end. There's the end. Start slowing it down. You can just run right across there. Get the car straightened back out again. I probably could have not. With this car, I probably didn't even have to slow down. Put the high beams on. It does not help unrealistic game oh okay a little too fast there need to do a reset instead nothing like a preemptive reset among friends come over here get ready to make the jump this car can definitely make it there it is strategic reset there let's go This is where my mind gets foggy. I don't. 
Need something to help with getting stuck in mud? Are you at a place that has mud already? Ah! Where'd my lights go? My lights are dead. Oh, that's right. It's this. Oh, my. I have no steering. It's fine. Reset and keep going. Resets kind of hurt when you don't shouldn't have to take them. Don't hit the pole. Ah, oh, that's right. I can just go straight. I always forget about that. So make the big jump and then go right. And then left and make the little jump. Are you allowed to F8, F7? I mean, you can rewind. You can use the insert button to rewind. There's no teleporting and no node grabbing, but you can rewind. Okay, there's the jump I need to make. I don't think I've ever made this jump successfully. And I indeed do not make the jump successfully today either. That's okay. We're close to where we need to be anyway. It's fine. Do a barrel roll. Okay, that could have been cleaner. It's fine. And if you just need to, uh, actually free cam won't actually work. So you'll have to rewind. Now that I think about it. In the first place, let's go. They're right behind me, though. Oh, and I reset. I had to reset. I crashed into a wall. Mr. Awesome made the pass. No, get back here. I've never done that. Uh, I've never done that as clean as that. I can't blow it now. Come on. We're all messing up these turns. Hey, my lights are working again. Probably could take the shorter line there. It's fine. Get back here, Mr. Awesome. That's right. Keep making those mistakes. Oh, no. Replay stopped. Restart the replay. It's fine. Mr. Awesome took a different route than I'm taking. This is good news for me. There we go, able to keep the first place. I'm just gonna go back here and hit a rock. What am I doing? Why do I like to blow a perfectly good lead? What, 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 what? I'm doing it all very, very wrong. It's going to be a drag race now. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Awesome went over there. I was able to make the pass. Let's go. Closest cannonball ever. Let's go.
And there it is, across the line. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Awesome, right on my tail. See where Gatsby is. <clears throat> I'm actually not sure where Gatsby is. Drink water. Thank you. So let's go over to uh, Mr. Awesome. Uh, well, yeah, we can. Yeah, we, we can probably do that. So Gatsby's. I'm not sure which checkpoint Gatsby's trying to get to. Let's see where Onan is. Oh, looks like Gatsby's going for the figure eight, maybe. Sunday Driver will be going for the figure eight now once they get out of here. Envix is trying to get to the center of here. They're doing it correctly. They'll get there. Let's see where Gatsby has gotten themselves to. Gatsby has now gotten, or they're on their way to the figure eight. They've taken the correct route there. See, they know these shortcuts. That was the correct route. Let's go, Gatsby. Okay, now there's multiple ways to do this one. To be honest with you, I don't know that mine was the fastest. <clears throat> you didn't know that shortcut, Bob? Oh, yeah, going down that dirt trail. Definitely the right way to go. So Gatsby just needs to get themselves to... Gatsby should be able... Gatsby knows. So this is an older shortcut, but in this car, it works just as good. Arguably faster than the shortcut I took. They just need to find the cut over. They should see it coming up right there. Do they see it? They do see it. All right, let's go. Okay, that's okay. This car's fast enough to recover from that. And there they go to come across the line on the podium. Maybe, did they get it? They missed the checkpoint. Rewind yourself and go back and get it. Rewind yourself and get it. You gotta get more speed, more speed. Shift, shift, you need more speed. You need a lot more speed. That's not enough speed. Go back, do it again, rewind. Go, oh no, you got it that time, awesome. I was worried that they missed it then too. I will drink water, Cats of America, thank you. And there, Onan got it, there it is. <clears throat> Sunday now on their way to the figure eight. Nearly forgot to save your sunburst, but didn't give us a reason to crash it. It has a CVT in it. Oh no, could always change it, but we have to give it some sort of negative. A CVT though, that's that's brutal. That's a little brutal. So they're going to the figure eight. Envix is also going to the figure eight. Well, Envix is trying to get themselves out of the circle. The GPS will get them there. They see the they see the tunnel. There they go. Back to Sunday Driver. Sunday Driver turning in here. Sunday Driver following the GPS. They will get it. There it is. They see the checkpoint now. Once they get this checkpoint, then they just have to find their way over to the uh, over to the the airfield that's on their left. This is a valid way of getting there. This is a similar way that Gatsby went. Uh, I mean, you can't. So Sunday Driver, remember, you don't want the GPS to this final checkpoint. It will take it to the road. You want to get all the way over to the, and I think you know this, but all the way over to the airfield. Let's see how they go, and then we'll switch over to Envix. So they know that this car can make it through just about everything. There's a couple places to cut over. 
In most cars, I wouldn't recommend that cut over, but in this car, it would work. Sunday drivers choosing not to take it. It's fine. The next one is the suggested one. There it is. They see it. They see it. Get the speed, Sunday. Get the speed. Get the speed. You need the speed. There it is. And they got the checkpoint. Let's see where Envy, Envy is now, Envix is now, Envixy, I don't know how to say it. They're going to the, uh, yeah, they already got the figure eight. They need to do the same thing. Eventually they'll see a cut over to the airfield. <coughs> you sent me the car and also for some reason you put a tank on it. That works. So Envy, you have to cut over, cut over. If you take, if you fuck, no, you're gonna, you gotta cut over. If you just follow the GPS, it will take you underneath. I think you're following the GPS. You need to go to your left. You definitely need to go to your left. Yeah, that's a good idea. Turn back around. Go back over. You gotta get to the airfield. The GPS will take you underneath of it. There you go. They find part of a cut over here. Uh, uh, no. It's behind you. It's behind you. It's behind you. If you go down that street, you'll be able to make a left by that construction stuff. Go down that street. No, no. Turn left and go down the street by the construction stuff. Go. The cake is a lie. You uh, come over to the beam and G sign. Come over to the beam and G sign. Here they come. Go to the right of the B. Go to the left of the beam and G sign. Go to the left of it. And then get a run up on the airfield. There it is. They got it. Now go through here. Go through. There you go. Now just go back on the runway a bit and get a run up. So that's the ramp. Just go down the runway a little bit, turn around and make the jump. That's probably far enough. Just turn it around. I'm not sure how long the delay is. That's that's plenty of that's plenty of space. Turn it around. You can do it! There they go, getting the car spun back around, getting a reset, make sure that they have all the power they need. And then they go down to the jump. <coughs> the GPS and the cake are both a lie on this last checkpoint. There it is. Never give up. Never surrender. Yeah, I know. I, I remember I talked about that a long time ago, having a runway thing. But that is the way. I'll stop the replay here. That is the way this one's going to finish out with Random Minds finishing first. Mr. Awesome second. Gatsby third. Onan fourth. Sunday Driver fifth. Envy six. And Envy, don't get down. Everybody, their first time on any given cannonball always generally finishes in the back. You got to learn it. This was your first time here. I think you did great. Let's go ahead and put those points into the books. Who was the person that uh, disconnected? Let's see, we got me. We got Mr. Awesome, Gatsby, Onan, Sunday Driver, Envix. Went from second to last. Oh, no. Ramp was a disaster. Yes, the ramp. The ramp took a few tries for some people. It's fine. Um, who ended up getting disconnected? We'll show the replay from my perspective. Uh, but we'll switch also over to um, Mr. Awesome because they said they found another shortcut. Mr. Awesome, tell me again. Yeah, there you go. Your ramp run was beautiful. You should watch that from your view. Okay, we'll do that. You pulled your handbrake for the ramp in hopes you'd miss it. It was great content. Well, it worked. <laughs> for the cannonball, we watch 
the leader uh, from their perspective. We watch it from the leader's perspective, which was me in this case. Because we can't watch everybody. It would take forever. So we'll go over to me. We'll watch Mr. Awesome's jump at the end. Since they said they did it spectacularly, we will be the judge of that. <clears throat> Are you good to leave? If you need to leave, you can leave. That's fine, Envix. We have your points in. We're just going to watch this, and then I'm going to show the points for the night. I enjoyed racing with you. I hope you come back and race with us again. The next time we race is Saturday at... Uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time or Central Time. There it is. Slowing it down for the jumps to be able to get back on the throttle and then to not blow our engine. We put it into neutral or at least put the clutch in. Got the slipstream there. Oh, that's who... Uh, that's who disconnected. Who was that car? Who was, who was in that color? It really is, isn't it? I picked this car specifically so we would have an enjoyable time. This car is so capable. Oh, wow. Who almost killed me there? Onan almost kills me. All right, Envix. We'll see you. Oh, there's when they left. <laughs> it always takes me off the uh, car I'm watching. When that happens, it's fine. <coughs> Well, I wanted that jump anyway. It was fine. I'd rather move out of their way than crash into them. But then I crash into the wall. Unbelievable. Mr. Awesome in the lead of the race at this point. Come on, random. Turn on your light. Oh, that's right. The, 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 uh, the headlights do not work in the replay. <laughs> They're bugged out. Here, you can just cut straight across the grass here. <clears throat> Go into the next tunnel. The wall does always win, Carmen San Diego. A truer word has never been said. Mr. Awesome still in the lead on their way over to the sumo pit there. A little preemptive reset there among friends. Just scrolled back a bit. Couldn't find out who disconnected. I'll have to watch the stream, as I always do. I don't know who it was, but there it is. Plenty of energy for this car to get off of that jump successfully. And get it reset, turned around. Mr. Awesome still currently in the lead. Wait, you can just look back on YouTube. You could just look back on YouTube. YouTube is rewindable. YouTube knows how video works. Although, I'll tell you what... Uh, Conversing with people on Twitch rather than YouTube is a little bit easier because you know everybody's at least within a few seconds of real time since you can't rewind. So, I mean, I kind of get it from that perspective. I mean, I see why they did it. You can see Mr. Awesome's name tag. My steering is broken here. I don't know why, but we have to do a reset. It was... It was Cassium. Oh, what happened to Cassium? <clears throat> I wonder if their computer died, their internet went out, they had a power problem. I don't know. I always forget that you just come out of that and then just cut straight across and go into the next tunnel. Oh, this is cool. We're... Oh. I thought we were going to be on top the whole time. It's fun to see where the tunnels go. Come out of here and make the right. I am surprised that I remembered how to do this jump. I didn't get all the way over, but at least if you miss the second fence, you can still go around. Oh, you can't say it like that. You could free cam. Oh, I could, I could free cam it. And there we go. You want to you want to actually cut it over so that you're over that way, so you make it over this fence. But it's really not bad. You just come around here, and then you want to cut through here anyway. So it kind of works out. And then you jump between these billboards. I think this is the best I've ever run this 
cannonball, to be honest with you. Facing the wrong way, that's fine. Get flipped around. Mr. Awesome's here somewhere. They took the long way in. I don't see... There, there they are. They came in through the tunnels. So that... Those shortcuts was what let me take the lead. Of course, I mess up the turn. Hit the wall. Mess up the tire. Needs to do the reset. Mr. Awesome takes the lead back again. But I caught up huge on them. It's great. You also beat someone using that shortcut. It's a good set of shortcuts. The two jumps. Who said something? Think this thing also the best you've ever run the cannonball, says, uh, says Carmen. Cat is saying, uh, just resent me the sunburst to remove the herbicide tank. Oh, I'm curious to see them both. <laughs> Coming through here, Mr. Awesome takes the turn. I take the turn really wide. I really could go on the inside. I don't know why I went on the outside of this. <clears throat> hey man, you're just checking in. How's it all going? We're, well, we're on the cannonball. We're watching the replay and we're watching me. So what does that tell you, William Bewley? <laughs> Mr. Awesome takes it long there. Now, this is the shortcut Mr. Awesome didn't know. They go straight. The trick here... The trick here is to load the next replay. The, oh, you can't say it like that. But you take that. You cut over to this dirt road. And then you just go across the track here. And come up the track there. And then you get the checkpoint that is right there. Is there an after hours? Do you think? So, but then I mess up and I, I run into the rocks here. Unbelievable. I totally forgot there were rocks there. And now Mr. Awesome is right behind me, but he doesn't take this checkpoint, this shortcut either. <clears throat> so with this car, I think it was just good enough to go down here. Now I forgot that you have to go up there. So I did not do this optimally at all. But even with that mess up, this is where Mr. Awesome's shortcut is. So I just go down the highway or the the track now. Let's go over to Mr. Awesome. Let's rewind this to see what they did there. So they had just gotten the checkpoint in the figure eight. They're going over here. And I think I know the shortcut. Oh, no, they don't take. Okay. So I, I thought they were going to go down there, but they, they go here. Oh, and then they go down this road. Oh. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are both basically even. I was able to get the speed, and then that's where I make the pass. <laughs> right at the very end. Uh, is there going to be an after hours? No, we've been going for three hour, three and a half hours. So I don't know that there's going to be an after hours tonight. You're going to head out. Hope all goes well, everyone. Hope life treats you all well. I hope it does too, William Buley. You have to get in here and do some races with us one of these times. Oh, no. Let me try that again. Here we go. There it is. Both of us over the jump. Uh, yeah, Bewley, you got to get... I don't know if they're still on, but if you are, you, ha you have to get in here and race with us, man. We haven't raced with you in forever. But we'll stop the replay there. So those are all the shortcuts for those of you that needed to see them. Can you give me a little throwback? Certainly, Carmen San Diego. And while I'm waiting to hear back from them, let's look at the points and see what this does for the night. Random Minds finishing first, 95 points. Look at that, Mr. Awesome in second with 86. Sunday Driver in third in the podium. Let's go, Sunday Driver. Then Gatsby in fourth, only one point back, one point. 
then Onan missing out on the magic number, but finishing in fifth for the night. Cassium in sixth. They would have, Cassium would have done so much better if they stuck around. I hope they're okay. I hope they have power and all the things. Then Envix in seventh and Water Boys in eighth. That is how that's going to finish out. So those are the winners. And it was, look at that, a 50 50 split. 2,500 points up for grabs goes to the people who said yes. Oh, and Bob, the editor, Mr. Random, the one time you vote no. <laughs> and I get the podium. Didn't break 100, though. Didn't break 100, but did get on the podium for the night. Onan would have been third if you didn't crash on that first. Oh, that's right, Onan. Look at that. Yeah, you would have. You would have. Yes. Onan won 4,900 points. Let's go, Onan. <laughs> oh, no. No. No, not all that. No. I don't need that kind of throw. No. No. What you guys don't know is I'm hearing over and over again in my ears the computer saying to me, Carmen San Diego, Carmen underscore San Diego underscore underscore said, Carmen San Diego underscore, Carmen underscore San Diego underscore underscore said, Carmen San Diego underscore underscore said, Carmen underscore San Diego underscore underscore said, I'm just hearing it said over and over again, drove me nuts. I hated when you guys did that. You always did that when I was doing outros. <gasps> yeah, Lou, it was well, yeah, I was I was stuck in my own loop. This is true, Bob the editor. Kids never gamble. 90% 99% of gamblers are degenerates and lose. Well, I won't say they're degenerates, but they, they, yeah, well, yeah, gambling's not great. These are points. This is not money. Don't gamble with money. Definitely don't gamble with money. Don't gamble with things of value. These are internet points. It's fine. Random Minds, also, can you borrow 300 chat points for rent? <laughs> I like it. Uh, but do you remember why we said that specific thing? I don't remember why you... you uh, it was you did it and Soki would do it all the time. I forget what started it. 100% gambler quit just before they hit the big bit. Nah, that's that's how they sucker you in. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the only time I ever won money as a casino was uh, in po with poker because poker is arguably a game of skill. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, before the text to speech used to say who said the message. It would say Carmen underscore San Diego underscore underscore said, and then it would say the thing. And then I finally took that out. So now what I'm hearing is underscore dot 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 underscore. I'm going to stop now. It's still going. It's it's still it finally stopped. It finally stopped. But that is going to end it for tonight before you guys torture me any further. It is late. We had a lot of good races. You sent me a version with the herbicide tank for testing purposes only. I'd be curious to see that. Nice. Bob is embracing randomized. It's not a tradition. No. No. Well, uh, yeah. Ask Carmen and Soki what I do when people do that too much. I, I can just turn it off. I just turn it off. But that is going to be it for us tonight. We will be racing again on what is today? <laughs> today's thursday well technically friday for me now <clears throat> so we will be racing again on saturday we'll run the same cars the same tracks on saturday at 5 p.m eastern time that's gmt 5 p.m gmt minus four currently because we're in daylight savings time uh 
and it is an unlimited night so come one come all we will have fun racing with underscore saturday x underscore no stop it um this, this is what used to happen all the time in my outros so that's saturday 5 p.m eastern and then i will work over the weekend to fix the few little bugs that we had and try to get the uh the ability to turn off resets all together so that yeah a distraction yes so come on come all that's right i can't oh i can't say it like that you got me there underscore outros underscore r4 r uh yeah so you can anytime you want to stop that that that's great it's just great i'll, t I'll turn it off i will i'll turn off text to speech in any event we'll try to get that one last little thing fixed in or added in so we can limit resets for things like the derby races to make it so people can't accidentally reset we're trying to make this as friendly as possible well fine underscore oh no trolling mode activated because you can oh no and then we will test those changes out on tuesday and if everything goes well we may be able to start the new season next thursday at 9 p.m eastern that's gmt minus four um we, we may go one more week, however. Stay tuned for that. I have to check in with a few people first. There are some extenuating circumstances. So the season might start next Thursday. I will put up a sign-up sheet. So definitely join the YouTube. Join the... Okay, I'm, I'm turning the speech chat off because I can't... I can't... I'm now mixing what I'm saying with what's being said in the speech to uh, text to speech so i've turned it off you won <laughs> you got me to mute you in my ears anyway um <clears throat> but i will be putting up a sign up sheet in, uh in discord so look out for that if you haven't joined discord make sure you do sunday driver back to your unsigned long long integers program 144.0001 megahertz oh 144 megahertz that's the uh te technician band there anyway <laughs> i'm getting distracted i am so fatigued i'm easily distracted texas speech isn't even on oh synthesizer oh you're talking about something totally different then oh and i was thinking about uh, gigahertz bands anyway not megahertz bands anyway anyway by random go get some s sleep you need it i i'm working on it i'm working on it let me just finish this okay i'm gonna stop looking at chat for a second i forgot where i was so i will put if you if you're not on discord please join the discord i'll put the sign up sheets thursday will be the limited day it's going to be limited it looks like our limit is seven people so it will be limited to seven we had eight last season uh but it looks like the updates to beam ng are a little bit too much and we are gonna have to reduce it by one it's sad to see eventually computers will catch up to the technology and this will be the best racing sim ever <coughs> but if you have a lower end pc sign up for thursdays it is first come first serve so make sure you sign up early sign up once sign up early and saturday is the unlimited day i ask that during the season you only run on one of the two days if more people sign up on thursday than seven then it'll just be on a first come first serve basis but if you have a better pc please sign up for saturday it is a better day uh for you at that point if on thursdays we don't fill up to seven and there are some random people floating around that want to be in the races we'll let them in i suppose same is true on saturday but if you're just coming in for a once and done type of thing uh just one of the two days uh don't don't take up slots from other people that want to run the entire season but that is gonna now i'll look at chat real quick um uh gigahertz yes can thursdayers play saturday too if it's not too full uh yes that way that way around it can work so 
if if everybody is okay with their fps on saturdays and somebody in th well wait a minute wait a minute i take back what i was just saying because i always forget we had a problem with that because if you don't have skin in the game which means you're not caring about the points as much because your real day is thursday then you could end up crashing into and this is nothing against you particularly it, it has happened before with other people multiple times where somebody that just comes in for that one race uh then crashes into somebody that was going for points it ruins their race so we do we do ask that you stay on the thursday or saturday whichever day you sign up for that's the day you race so anything i said to the contrary i take it all back i forgot about that situation entirely but uh we don't want to ruin people's races that are going because we have the points for the seat we have points for the night you saw points for the night points for the season look something like this this is points for our off season on thursdays and we will have a leaderboard like that for the actual season as well um ha huh, okay i'm exhausted now i think that was all the people saying random minds sunday what uh I, I have the text to speech turned off so it didn't say in my head uh i'm trying to look through the chat to see if there's other things for me to respond to before i say good night let's see because then he'll definitely turn it off bob don't mention it uh, bob don't mention it what did bob mention hey actually randy do you turn off the text to speech app when you end your stream or can we just talk to you in offline chat while you code do you turn off the tts app when you end the stream i yeah i i close all the windows out so in fact it's closed out now um so let's see da, da, da. scrolling down scrolling down uh i already answered that question i just want to catch up i don't want to leave you, anybody hanging here Bob, the other saying, you think either you or Soki are the weak link on Saturdays? Don't think we need any extras. <laughs> uh, PC wise, they're saying. Uh, let's see, Random Minds Sunday. Bob, the editor, I do, and I thought I was switching. Uh, Okay, I'm just I'm just scrolling through. They're having the conversation amongst themselves, and the, I'm finally caught up. And finally, Carmen says, "Come on, Randy. It's like a sorority. He has to get you to turn it off. You said this earlier. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for coming out and racing. Thank you everybody for coming out and watching." and uh you guys watching the vod's and on youtube you guys keep bringing it i appreciate it if you want to watch the vod's they're up for a week or so on twitch and then they are also on youtube i'm trying to get those youtube numbers going so if you guys want to watch parts of the replay just uh go over to youtube you know watch the replay there if you happen to leave it on repeat uh, you know for for the whole weekend uh, you know just kidding just kidding but you know if you wanted to not just kidding but i am trying to get those numbers up so if you want to watch the replays uh on youtube that helps me out i really do appreciate it trying to get to the equivalent of affiliate level over there <clears throat> maybe i have to actually start editing and doing see i'm spending just amount of time working on the race manager as normal streamers work on editing to put it over to youtube so i will be happy when the race manager is finally in a stable state on servers maybe i can start editing uh i, I started once before it didn't go well we'll, we'll get there random minds if you happen to view bot or something you mean randy can't stop you I, yeah i'm not i'm not advocating for that we'll we'll get there on our own it's fine i know people don't want to watch a four-hour stream necessarily i gotta get the editing the editing really won't be that hard but it'll be easier when i have things in the race manager to help me know where to do the editing it'll go a lot faster and i can just do it the same night and be done but anyway that will be i'm gonna finally end this thing <clears throat> that will be it for me tonight 
Thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for racing. Thank you all for watching. You guys stay random, and I will see you in the next random video.